doors. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, visit rbafla.com for details. License number CGC 1527613. It's looked Lodera! It's sensational! Orlando City is on the road next weekend as the Lions face DC United on Saturday, April 13th at 7.30 p.m. Tune in on FM 96.9 The Game and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Don't forget to tune in an hour before the match at 6.30 to catch kickoff minus 60 airing exclusively on the Lion Nation app. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills, a community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Hi, this is Earl Ron. At New South Window, we bring the factory to you. Our windows and doors are made with quality in mind, and your products and installation are backed by our lifetime warranty. That's because New South Window knows the importance of single source accountability. We believe in removing the middleman so you get more for your money. This is real factory direct. One company, one call, guaranteed for life. Get New South proud. For a limited time only, save percent on New South Windows products and installation. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you'll lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS-FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. That's right, guys. Here we go on a Monday edition of the Jim Cobra Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate that as we do every single day, and we do have a good one for you today. We'll get you caught up on what's happening out there in the world. One thing happening right now in the yeah, world. Exactly. We'll tell you all about that here in a second. Uh, we'll also have sports with our buddy Brandon Kravitz from 96.9 The Game, talking Magic, NCAA Championship, WrestleMania, what? even a little bit. Five o'clock hour, we'll do trivia. We'll tell you what we have going there. Six o'clock hour, it's Ray Trinley. You heard it here first. Your calls, texts, and talkbacks all day long. Welcome to the program. I am Jim. To my left, my lovely and very dangerous co-host, Ms. Deb Roberts. Hello there. Straight up producer, Jack Bradshaw. Good afternoon. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
Jack's birthday was yesterday. We celebrate the day after because he was on vacation. Uh, 50. Yeah, 50. There yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. sounds 50. good. Yeah, now, C Lane is on the roof as we speak here at the Maitland Complex. And like our promo said, if you haven't seen it, it is uh, not for kids. Um, <laughs> J- Jack recorded me. It's one of my worst points in my day. No, uh, but that's just a usual point of but, your day. <laughs> uh, but Sea Lane is on the roof right now. We are awaiting, like many people here in Central Florida, the eclipse to come through. Now, you know, if you're watching television anywhere, you can see this has been happening in Texas and across the path now yep. for the last hour or so. Um, and we are currently waiting on the darkness to fall here in uh, in Maitland. And while we wait for Sea uh, Lane to check in, um, really want to give uh, mad props to Sam, who, yeah. if you're uh, following us, if you're watching us on our YouTube channel right now, Sam is sharing his YouTube channel, which has the uh, live feed of the eclipse going on right now. That's, so that's pretty badass. That too, is right? very badass. So yeah. thank you, Sam. Go to jimcolbertlive.com. By the way, yeah, yeah. Follow us on social, uh, Instagram and Facebook at the Jim Colbert Show on Twitter. Just add Jim Colbert Show all day at jimcolbertlive.com. That's what Deb was talking about when you go to Jim Colbert live.com you can click right through to our youtube channel and check that out right there and on top of that on the roof right now our beat reporter mr c lane is there hey what's going on guys what's up dude oh we're just uh, on the roof of headquarters looking at uh the moon blocking the sun okay (laughs) there's a term for that i've heard do you have your glasses on i do have my glasses on very nice now Which, I, it, I, they're on and off because walking around on the roof ooh. Uh, without being able to see in front of you is actually quite scary. Yeah, that's <laughs> a, you, you don't want to do that. There's some things up there. Now I, I said during my promo, you think seeing in an eclipse is one thing, but hearing about seeing an eclipse now that that's special. That's special. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for, guys. <laughs> so and just, let me just tell you, eclipse is happening. It's 3:03. It's, it's it's the point at which most of the sun is going to be blocked that we'll see. And then it's just going to start unblocking it. So, so, so as it is right now, if you look outside, right now is the apex of its coverage for this area? It looks like a slightly fatter crescent moon, but yes. Oh, wow. It's not, like, it's not even dark out yet. No, and you can see this if you're watching this on our YouTube stream, Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, we, we have that feed up live where you can see what it looks like. And you do not need to wear your glasses to look at our YouTube feed. You do not. Oh, that's yeah, a yeah. good point. <laughs> <laughs> if we do, hang on. <laughs> now, oh. did, uh, are, do, are you feeling any religious experience? Are you, <laughs> are you vibrating differently? Can you speak another language? I'm a little hungover, but other than that, I think we're, uh, you know, n- no vibrating. So, so, yeah. so the eclipse has, in fact, a normal sea lane Monday. Yeah, it's, it's pretty loud up here with all the equipment and technology. But uh, other than that, you know, it's just uh, no vibrating. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, did, did someone fall? What's happening to Sabrina? Did she just get taken up into the light? I think so. Oh, my I'm God. I'm trying not to look at it, but yes. I figured she'd be going the other way. I'm just gonna be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, look, man, this is a, a very interesting thing. Is this something you'll tell your son about? Uh, probably not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a real. Th- is this a real three out of tenner for you, there, buddy? We talked. I mean, you know, unless we're going like right underneath it, where we where it's gonna be completely dark for four minutes, like everywhere they're showing on CNN right now. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. That would be fun to be under. This is just something fun to look at. Well, that path actually is going to hit us in 2044. Yeah. It will literally come directly over us in Melbourne, yeah. and we'll be in that total darkness uh, for about four minutes. But as it is right now, it just looked like a pretty bad cloud went in front of the sun. That's the one I'll tell my son about because he'll be 20 years old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll pass those things on. Well, buddy, I mean, listen, um, I appreciate it. <laughs> Stay away from the edge. Any any way I can help, guys. Oh, I yeah. mean, really, uh, just uh, hold on. Let me look again. Look for, oh, exactly the same. All right, there you <laughs> go. All right. We'll check back in in about 10 minutes when it's over. All right. <laughs> we'll see you, buddy. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Thank Thanks, you, C. Lane. <laughs> nice fella. The great Christopher Lane. He is a nice fella. <laughs> Going to tell your son about this? Probably not. Uh, yeah, probably not. Probably the, real, not. the real three out of ten here. Yeah, so, exactly. Like a, I've had a bad food truck experience a little better than this. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you.
I've had I've had bouts of food poisoning that are a little bit more dynamic. Well, the good thing is is that we don't have to miss it because thanks to Sam Bowen, we can just look yeah. at our own YouTube but feed. And I'm legit watching it right now. I am too. Now, the one thing I did notice today that you know, there there are a number of events happening today. People celebrating in certain ways. For a lot of people, this is a religious thing. Oh yeah. Uh, there are implications, their faith and stuff. But I will tell you one of the saddest parts of this, and we talked about this last week. That there was, because we, we talked about a number of businesses, and they said that there were just traffic nightmares oh. all along the path of this thing, that you couldn't go anywhere. It was terrible. People were trying to get in the optimum position to have the most yeah. darkness, blah, 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 blah. But the saddest thing I've seen so far with the eclipse is that, remember that great, that big marriage thing we were telling you about? Yeah, exactly. About 300 couples expected yeah. to exchange <laughs> vows. Well, they were dancing in a field. Out there, and I'll tell you, when they did the shot, I was like, oh, they got married at a rodeo. <laughs> because that's exactly what it looks like. Them dancing in a field yeah. uh, as they waited. It looks like they got married at a beer fest <laughs> yeah. that's on its way clearing out. But I looked at Deb, and I saw. I looked up, and I saw all these people dancing at their wedding in a field with a bunch of other field dancers. <laughs> and I just looked at my computer, and I'm like, they're going to regret that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a regrettable decision to get married under the eclipse with... 500 of your non-closest, don't know you friends. Randos, yeah. God. I, I don't know, but I believe I heard somewhere that it might have been free to take advantage of that. Oh, really? So there you go. There are some people who might like the economic <laughs> benefits. So. Oh, well, there you oh, go. Oh, welcome Speaking back. Speaking Jacks. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we missed you, dude. Welcome back, Jack. Yeah. We missed you. Thank I never, you. I Someone's got to save money around here. None of those producers last week would have understood the value <laughs> of ruining your marriage for money. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody would have gotten it like you, buddy. Do you have any connection to this thing at all, Bradshaw? Uh, no, it's interesting. And hey, shout out to Solar Source. I know on oh, Friday yes. they came by and, yes. and gave everyone glasses. Oh, they yeah. had thousands of glasses they were giving away. So yeah. I know Celine and Sabrina are safe on the roof, I believe, unless they <laughs> fell off. I don't know. Yeah, Hopefully. I don't know not but uh yeah we we yeah, appreciate still- them hooking up our listeners with that great people over yeah. at solar source but it's interesting i love the view we can see right now on our youtube feed jim colbert show on youtube uh shout out sam uh, I, have, I have his channel up and uh you know it it looks like a crescent moon but it's got the orange that orange uh, glow of the sun that looks fake yeah. almost yeah a little yeah, bit because of the filter you just see the yeah. glow that amber glow yeah it is it's like amber is the perfect way it almost looks halloweenish Definitely. And they say like five, well, they're they're saying this is supposed to be the most viewed eclipse ever. Really? More than 500 million people between Mexico, ourselves here in North America, and then as well Canada. Right, right, right. So all of, you know, 500 million people, 5 million people have traveled to see this. So they're like, please just give yourself some extra time. Don't think you're going to get home. Yeah, I would say I timed my vacation maybe a week early to, yeah. <laughs> to be able to do this because I was kind of in the area. Yeah. But what I, I heard today that some of these towns along the way, and what a boom for these that this sliver of these to- yeah. towns of totality. Yeah, you know where people they said at the earliest reservation they took was 2017. And they were, uh, for the past four years, have been sold out. Wow, wow. really? Good yeah. Lord. Yeah, I'll have some uh, economic impact stories about the eclipse coming up in Woke News. It's all, it, it's over it's over land a lot. I was thinking that they maybe have a, a like maybe a cruise or there something was. that you could see it from there. But it, it just goes through Texas and, and then down through South America. Does it go out into the Gulf? I, I believe, uh, if, if I have the name of the cruise ship company correctly, I believe it was Holland America. Yeah, Holland America. That yeah. was going to have a cruise ship like off the coast of Texas where you could cruise and watch the eclipse from the comfort of, of the ship. Now, that would be kind of cool. That would be very cool. I've got some cool. friends leaving yeah. on a lawn on a a chair and following oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> just, a deck chair. Just chasing it with margaritas, just endless <laughs> margaritas. Good Our cigars. Zone. Garcon. Yeah, I was looking at this path, and I didn't see it. You know, I, I oh, wait, there it goes. Okay, it goes out the backside of uh, Texas, but right over Mexico. So you'd have to be almost yeah. on the west coast, uh, going into that side of Mexico. Uh, yeah, off the backside of that. Yeah, that's exactly what, uh, in California. You would have been able to see it uh, down there in the uh, Baja area, I guess. Maybe in the Baja Peninsula area. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, it would have been kind of cool to do that. Like, um, well, the, in 20 years, we'll get our chance. The total darkness <laughs> one is kind of cool. Man, man, 
Um, in 20 years, I'll be, holy, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> hi Hiya. Hey. Yeah. You're going to want those solar glasses for over your regular glasses. I'll be, uh, hope I'm not napping. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Do you have some non-eclipse news? No, because we're going to kick it off with the eclipse is underway in the okay. U.S., uh, crews begin removing the containers that the cargo ship that struck that Baltimore bridge. Yes. And then finally, a Superman comic from 1938 has a hefty, hefty price tag. Oh, I bet it does. We'll talk about that and more coming up next during Woke News. You got it at 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. We'll go over Jack's trip. He did a really, really interesting trip to I'll Tell You Where when we get back. We never oh. even said. We never said where, did we, buddy? We did not. All right, we'll get to find out that. And a restaurant in Louisiana is doing something, and I'm kind of interested to see how you guys feel about that, plus a bunch of other stuff as well. Back in a sec with Deb's News and more of the Jim Colbert Show. The fine woman in your smart speaker knows what you need. Really? Don't ask how. Just tell her to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Looking at some slowdowns on I-4 this afternoon, east and westbound between Osceola Parkway and 535. No major problems or delays to report at this time, north or southbound on Florida's Turnpike. Traffic also moving well for those taking the Beach Line and the Greenway today. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their end-to-end solution helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all year round. Schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from your Indeed dashboard. Learn more by visiting Indeed.com slash credit. Hey, think about walking down that hallway in your home, the one that leads to your guest bathroom. But every time you walk by your guest bathroom, this time, you don't turn and curse it a little bit because it's costing you really cool events at your house. You're a little embarrassed about it. But not only think about having a brand new bathroom, courtesy of our friends over at Rebath, think about telling them that you heard about them from the Jim Colbert Show and having them throw a $800 bill at you for upgrades in your new bathroom. That's right. If you mention the Jim Colbert show, you'll get $800 of the upgrades. Apply that where you will. Uh, maybe your shower glass, maybe your fixtures, whatever you want to do. These guys are ready to turn it up for you and give you a bathroom you're going to be proud of for years. And quality is what they're all about. Matter of fact, they are so about the quality. The two big box stores that you know that de- deal with home improvement, those guys have Rebath installed their bathrooms for them. If they can trust them, you can as well. Drop by the showroom, easy to find. 436 up and out, it's right across from Kobe. You'll walk in and see a few models set up. Those are just to show you what the product took like. You work hand-in-hand hand with their design team to come up with a custom bathroom built specifically for you. No other one like it anywhere else, just you. The showroom will show you all the cool ideas they have for you to get your new bathroom. And remember, you mentioned the Jim Colbert Show. It's $800 in upgrades right now for your new custom bathroom from Rebath. Hop on board, look at the before and afters, and book your appointment. It's Rebath, midfla.com. Fence Outlet has the largest selection of fencing options in the state with over 400,000 square feet of showroom and warehouse space. Get 0% financing for 12 months for your gorgeous new fence. Book your appointment online today. Go to fenceoutlet.com. License number C-10252 and C-10803. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Office Orlando. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com, and with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. 
Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Let me tell you a story. I had a client who got injured. He only asked for the insurance company to cover his rent for three months. They said no. We ended up getting him $325,000. Just call Mo. No do it. Orlando's injury attorneys. Prospective client may not obtain the same or similar results. Get ready for three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. Next weekend, April 19th through 21st, you get extra savings across the board. Up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings, even thousands of engagement ring mounting. This is the Spring event everyone waits for with all new fashion jewelry and a new selection of exquisite diamonds. Best prices of the year and up to three years zero interest financing. Don't miss this once a year spring store wide sale. April 19th through 21st and only at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise efficient and less invasive we are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible Mayo Clinic you know where to go fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023 if you're in a bind this tax season LifeLock can help their US based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. I'm Johnny B. Good, the host of the podcast, Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin. This podcast dives deep into the story of Ray Trapani and his company, Centratech. I'll explore how 320-somethings built a company out of lies, deceit, and greed. I've been saying since a very young age that I was going to be a millionaire. If someone was like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. Listen to Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin, on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Look to Orange Buick GMC for your next truck at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Hey, so apparently Facebook is still a thing. Search gym members and join our group. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77 77- Zero three one. Thanks again for tuning in. We appreciate that very much. If you want to check us out online, you can do that. JimCoberLive.com. Click right through to our YouTube channel while you're there. Enjoying the free show. Just give us a subscribe and like. We would appreciate that greatly. Welcome back. I am Jim. Jackson's right over there. Yo. Let's get a check of the news. Here's Deb. And now it's time for Woke News. It seems like kind of a misuse of the whole world. On the Jim Colbert Show. All right, Woke News is brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. And if you are watching us on our YouTube channel, you're able to uh, see the uh, live feed from Sam, one of our great listeners, handles uh, our YouTube chat as well. Uh Uh-huh. Sam Bowen, so you're able to watch the eclipse just in case you don't have any glasses or a welder's helmet available because Mm -hmm. it is underway in North America. The path of the total eclipse kicked off along the Texas-Mexico border near Eagle Pass at around 2.30 p.m. Eastern. Its path spans much of Texas through Illinois, Kentucky, and Ohio to northwestern New York and Maine. The total solar eclipse will end after it leaves northern Maine around 3.30 p.m. The next total solar eclipse won't be visible again from the contiguous United States until 2044. And that's when the path will come right over Central right. Florida, right. the path of totality. That's right. All right, we kind of hinted at this be, uh, before we went to break, but, you know, today's solar eclipse only briefly blocking out the sun but expected to shine some light 
into the economy. Uh, as millions are, are you know, witnessing the rare celestial event, experts are forecasting what boost to businesses within the eclipses corridor. How much money do you think will be boosted? Oh, my God almighty. I'll go, uh, whoa, oh. Eight, $800 million. $800 million? Jackson, you want to make a guess? Six billion. Six. All right. All right. All right. One and a half billion okay. dollars. Damn it. I, I went that one. I was going to say one point two. <laughs> I was going to say one point two. One point five billion dollar boots to businesses within the eclipses corridor. Lodging and travel, not surprising, such as Airbnb, hotels, and airlines, will be the major beneficiaries with an estimated four million travelers. Uh, on the move along its path. Retailers also expected to continue seeing an uptick in sales for Eclipse-related products from viewing glasses to portable chairs to, and then comes the commemoration memorabilia. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be buying that up as well. Sure, yeah. All right, another news. Crews are removing cargo containers from that ship that crashed into a major Baltimore bridge late last month, causing it to collapse and killing six construction workers. Coast Guard officials say crews are making progress uh, toward removing pieces of the bridge from the ship so they can take the weight off of it and right. start to move it. Right. Uh, over the weekend, workers removed the first piece of the bridge as the salvage work continues to untangle the wreckage. The Army Corps of Engineers said last week that it hopes to restore access to the Port of Baltimore by the end of next month. Yeah, that they're way ahead of schedule. I read that today, and they were saying it's like playing Death Jenga. Uh, cutting that thing apart because you just got to kind of figure out exactly where the pressure is so that when you cut it apart, it doesn't spring back and do anything else. So they've done a good job. No one's been hurt yet. That's that's no joke. When that thing crashed down, it got under the water. But the way that, that that tension of that steel is, I remember telling my wife, I was like, man, that is going to be a nightmare to cut apart. She's like, well, they just cut it apart. I was like, no. That's I, what I thought. I was like, no, imagine bending a tree over, you know, tying it down and then cutting it in half. You know, that's what you're dealing with. You know, times steel. Right, uh, not, right. Not fun. Yeah, and the image in the beginning where you, you saw in totality right, right. That, that section come down, it doesn't give you really the idea of how massive it is, but when they get closer to the ship and you see that piece just laying over, just bending it yeah. down, yeah. bending Be that ship down. Beams crumple like they're made of paper that you couldn't wrap your arms around. Right. Yeah. Solid steel. Right. Yeah. I mean, when they show the steel workers who are cutting the steel, they look like, you know, just tiny little <laughs> things, you know, and they're over there with those those torches that yeah. they have to use. I think of that all the time because I would have thought just like Tori, well, it's already fallen down, yeah, just so just apart. cut it. No. And it turns out that that could be that that couldn't be further from the truth. Yeah. And as the governor said, this bridge has already claimed six lives. Right. It's not going to take another one. Hundreds of tons of steel under great pressure with that weight ready to break loose. You know, the thing is, is you don't even know what's going to make it through the entire cut. Right. You also think, well, I'll just cut it here. Well, much like a tree under tension, you get about halfway through that thing and you start hearing ping, ping, that torque. Ping, 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 ping. <laughs> here we go. That ain't going to be fun for somebody. Here we go. All right, the Kennedy Space Center and SpaceX uh, tried to give today's solar eclipse a bit of competition. Company officials say a Falcon 9 rocket successfully launched at 716 yesterday from the Space Center. The launch is for the Bandwagon 1 mission. Okay. That consists of 11 spacecrafts. What? From businesses and countries worldwide. I guess they really meant the word bandwagon. All right, meanwhile, NASA has uh, awarded contracts to three private U.S. companies to create lunar rovers for the next upcoming moon mission. Really? Yeah, remember when we saw the mm -hmm. prototypes of the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex? Yeah, they are pretty badass. They are very badass. I'd yeah. love to take one of those on I-4. <laughs> right, exactly. What's that run? Boy, I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> the space agency said Intuitive Machines of Texas, Lunar Outpost of Colorado, and Venturi Astrolab of California yeah. were chosen to create designs for the rovers. Uh, one of the companies will be chosen to carry out a test run for the Artemis 5 mission, which will send astronauts to the moon in 2029. NASA says the winning bid will be tasked with handling the, quote, extreme conditions of the moon's south pole, end quote. Okay. It'll be uh, the first astronaut mission to the moon since 1972. Wow. All right. You don't have to uh, ingest fentanyl to be affected by the deadly drug. Good. Finally. I hate the taste of it. <laughs> Governor DeSantis today signed a bill in Sanford uh, to protect first responders who may come into contact with the drug's residue. So imagine if you lie to law enforcement, right? Someone, mm -hmm. a law enforcement officer pulls you over, asks if you have drugs on you, and right. you say, no, I do not. And uh, and then the officer is exposed and then harmed. You're going to now face a second-degree 
felony. Damn. Yeah. That should, I mean, that should be the case. I mean, I, I've heard officers, they say one of the scariest parts of their job is patting down junkies or patting down people they don't know anything about. Yes. And, you know, if they look a little unkempt when you start patting those cats down, you just don't know what's hiding. We've in those, seen so yeah. many body cam videos of yeah. deputies having to be revived by their own, you know, stash of Narcan. Yeah. We've heard of canine deputies being overcome also, by the drug, just sniffing it out. Also diseases, man. You know, hep C and, and oh, yeah. HIV and all the other stuff that lives in those needles is no fun. Nope. Governor DeSantis also signed a bill today adding 17 counties to the original 12 core network counties battling drug abuse and trafficking. Mm -hmm. The governor also announced a decrease in drug overdose deaths in Florida. Here's some good news. All that. A 9% decrease from September of 2022 to September of 2023. Finally, some good news in that fight. All right. uh, Speaking of uh, good news and a chance to save, oh, Texting service is most likely going to light up, but here you go, you guys. It's our usual gas price story. Okay. <laughs> Florida gas prices. Just uh, add 10 cents so when they see it, they're like, oh, I, I, find, I found a cheaper one. I know. Why don't, why don't you just say this? They're bipolar, and it's be, it's been a bad week. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll understand. And then you say, hey, they're bipolar, but it's a good week. Well, Florida gas prices are actually on a nine-day streak of declines. Nice. Falling a total of 15 cents during that period. Wow. AAA reports the statewide average is 346. That's down about 12 cents in the past week. However, analysts caution pump prices could start moving higher again after the U.S. price of uh, uh, oil surged to a new 2024 highs last week. Yeah. Fort Lauderdale consumers, yeah, they're paying the most. Uh, the cheapest gas in the Sunshine State can be found in Pensacola, yep. where motorists are paying three dollars and thirty-seven cents. Wow! But for then, a gallon uh, of gas. But unfortunately, then you do have to live in Pensacola, <laughs> oh, which sucks. Does it? No, I don't know. I was going to say I've always Actually, thought it was beautiful. The beautiful, the beaches Sorry, up there. The, be- <laughs> the beaches up there are fake. Like all these people who go down to Miami, look, go to Pensacola. Here's the thing. You won't get oozied. Right. And you'll still get to enjoy a beautiful beach. <laughs> well, speaking of not getting oozied, um, another thing you're not going to see very much in South Florida anymore are wood storks. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. Reportedly, they are leaving Southern Florida as their habitat declines. Really? The Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary used to be a massive nesting site for wood storks. But in recent years, the stork population has drastically decreased. Their food supply is declining, as well as the shallow wetlands they need in order to nest. Uh, Experts say this change is largely due to the development of the surrounding land. Mm. The storks appear to be migrating to northern Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. Oh, nice. They're going to love Jacksonville. (laughs) (laughs) They're going to love it. You do Let's talk about culture shock. The Miami birds going to Jacksonville. Like, what the? What is this? Hooters? (laughs) All right. Uh, the Florida Lottery is launching four new scratch-off games this week. <laughs> For you people who haven't lost everything yet. Right, exactly. Have you ever? When's the last time you bought a scratch-off? I buy them for my wife occasionally because she loves them. You know, it's, what's uh, difficult? When, there are too many to choose from yeah, now. There used know. to be a handful, but now it's like, well, it's well, they have this glass countertop. It's like that row, and then you look down, and there's like four more shelves. It's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. But Jack and I have a, a, a friend that is a scratch savant. Really? So, so if we ever get into a situation where we need to find out where the good scratches are, the ones that win the most, we got a guy. Seriously? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not joking. Well, according to the stories he tells. <laughs> well, I'm telling He's you not what. not a winner. <laughs> those, those can be very addictive because oh, yeah, really when addictive. you win, you know, it's easy to turn that $20 right. and tick back into more tickets. We used to, right. the first station I worked at, we did that for months where we would pull together money and buy scratchers and... I bet the scratch off is one of the high. I bet it's the I bet it's the slot machine of the lotteries because of what you just said. Right, you know, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna yeah, put a scratch off yeah. down. Let's see, you're a ten winner. You're not taking that ten bucks. You bought a damn scratch off. Right. <laughs> hey, if you spend ten bucks on one, guess what? Chances are you're going right back in the pot. Why not? And they're just gonna whittle it's it down. Free money, right? Exactly. Well, uh, the uh, let's see, the Gold Rush Legacy Lotteria Grande. Oh, nice. Win, win, win. Wonder where that's focused. And double it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> will cost between one and twenty dollars per ticket. Sure thing. The new games will have top prices of five thousand dollars to ten milli. There you go. Now, lottery retailers are expected to have the new tickets in stock within the next two days. But in the meantime, okay, someone who purchased a Powerball ticket here in Florida. Uh-huh. <gasps> 
is a kind of winner, big winner, not really, but <laughs> well, comparatively, <laughs> the ticket match is, is a shame to say. <laughs> I know. Welcome to 2024, yeah. where we're saying you win a million dollars sucks. You only got a million. You only got oh, you did the Powerball. You got two million. Nah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, that's, that's right. dude. Yeah, yeah we, we don't even let you in the club. <laughs> Your stupid million dollar winner. Get out of here with that. Seriously. Well, the ticket matched five of the six numbers drawn over the weekend to win, yes, a paltry $1 million. The ticket was purchased at a Circle K on Tampa Road in Oldsmar. That's in Pinellas County. Okay. Uh, The $1.3 billion jackpot was won on a single ticket sold out of Oregon. Powerball says it's the fourth largest jackpot in the history of the game, which to me is astounding right. to hear that it's not number one and it's over a billion dollars. Oh, man, I was right next door to Oregon. Oh, no, you weren't. The winner. <laughs> close. You need to I'm buy hoping map, it dude. was my best friend from is, college. Is I haven't heard from in a while. stuff together on that <laughs> side of the nation? You should have come to school more, buddy. Yeah, Jack knows the 13 Southerns and I he's done so. Though. Maybe the East Coast and he's done. I think it's near South Dakota or Dang Wyoming. Jersey, I'm not boy, even right? sure of all the states that touch Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can get them. Well, the uh, winner has the option of getting the full amount before taxes Damn. Uh, spread out over 30 years or getting a lump sum payment of about $620 million. Man, I got to tell you, if I was like 25 and won that or 30 and won that, I would, have to, I would have to talk myself out of that, that, that payment thing. I would really have to do that because, I mean, you figure you're 30. You know, you're going to get cashed out by the time it's 20 years, right? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. going to be cashed out by the time you're 50 anyway. You you know, why why do you need a lump sum when you're going to be getting like $30 million a year, 40 or $50 million a year, whatever it is? Now, I've only heard people say that they've heard that everyone says – Take the lump sum because financially, long run, you do better with it because you can invest it, get yeah, a better rate of return. Theoretically, you can also get you can also get your ass kicked. That true, but also if you die, if you haven't collected on that full twenty years, is that transferable? I've heard it is to to I heard a, to family to immediate family, yeah, like kids, wife type thing. But that would be it. What if you don't like them? Oh God. Yeah, that's a real question for I leave Jimmy. It to, I leave it to a dog <laughs> and piss everybody off. Imelda right. Marcos, not Imelda Marcos. Uh, the, 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 Andrew, the Leona Helmsley. Dog. Oh, yeah, yes. that's right, yeah. yeah, that's right. She did Try, do that. Tried to set up her, her there dog. Was, there was one recently. A dog in Tampa got like five million dollars. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Get out of here. All right, an ESPN <laughs> executive. That. that is stupid. <laughs> an ESPN executive has left the network after a host came at him on air. What? accusing him of, quote, sabotage, end quote. Yeah, the Sports Network announced Norby Williamson's departure in a memo to staff last Friday. Uh, Host Pat McAfee called Williamson, quote, a rat and accused him of spreading false information about the show to the media. The memo from ESPN's president of content praises Williamson's tenure at ESPN, saying he had, quote, a lasting impact on the sports fans' experience. That, little, bat- that little battle between McAfee and that guy's been going on for a minute. That's why they pinched the, the McAfee uh, a few months back, yeah. and he got in some trouble, and, uh, and then that Aaron Rodgers stuff kind of happened, and I think yeah. this guy Norby was pretty vocal about all that stuff. And one of the things, I guess, remember when McAfee said he wasn't supposed to talk about him and it literally had him on the next day? Yeah. Yeah, I think all that comes down to that cat right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so this has been brewing a little bit. All right. Well, speaking of uh, other television noteworthy uh, stories, Pat Sajak's final episode as host of Wheel of Fortune. When is that? It's going to air June 7th. Really? Yeah, the finale of the game show's 41st season was taped last Friday. Sajak announced last June that this season would be his last after more than four decades. He started like in 1983. Yeah. Guess who's taking over? Ryan Seacrest. Yes. I heard that. Yeah. Ryan Seacrest. Yeah. They they announced that. And of course. Right. Yeah. (laughs) What else isn't he doing? (laughs) Right. Right. Yeah. Carson Daly's busy. (laughs) Right. Exactly. How many checks is that guy got coming in? Jesus. I don't know. No wonder he doesn't have a wife and family. He has no time. Uh, oh, man. He'll take over hosting duties next season. Do, do you think Pat Sajak cried? No. Yes. That, is that, can I, let me tell you something real quick. You can have all of the other Hollywood jobs. I'll take that game show host money and work one day a week. Yeah. All day, guys. Yeah. All day. That yeah. dude works 
one day a week. But yeah, it, it's a few days for the month. They'll, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll bang out a whole month of shows. Yeah. He works like yeah. that is the smallest amount of work you can put in I know. to make the most amount of guaranteed dough. Yeah. You're, it doesn't. It look. It has to deal with the ratings a little yeah. bit. Those things are so cheap to produce. They are guaranteed money makers. I well, ask again. Do you think he cried? Yes, no. I do. You I know, you. I do because it was four decades. Yeah, but I. Mean, <laughs> yeah, I think Vanna cried. You get jaded. Hey, Vanna's still there, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Vanna's there, although Pat Sajak's daughter has been doing some number turning. <gasps> so oh, Vanna has said that she's Nepo staying baby. on. Yeah, Vanna has said that she's staying on, but I'm sure the network is like, yeah, You exactly. go, Vanna. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on <laughs> to that, hands, baby. Yeah. Both hands. Uh, yeah, Sajak is going to stay on as a consultant for three years. All right. In other words, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Paying out his cost. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> a movie based on the making of Bruce Springsteen's 1982 Nebraska album what? now has a studio attached to the project. Ooh. Deliver Me From Nowhere will be produced by 20th Century Studio. Okay. Meantime, Jeremy Allen White, the star of Hulu's The Bear, is still in talks to star as Springsteen. Variety also reports that the New Jersey icon will be involved with the film. Right, right. Interesting. Isn't it? Yeah. What is it about that album, Jack? Uh, you know what? When it first came out, it was not my favorite. I was actually disappointed because it was that after I started listening to Springsteen, very late 70s, early 80s, and then that came out, it was just like, oh, because it was stepped down, but it's so basic. It's just him in the four track, and he recorded it in his room, in his house, where he did most, so it's really stripped down, but uh, uh, the the songs are just, uh, you know, it's where his writing shines. Yeah, very okay. lo-fi. Here's what I hear yeah. about Nebraska, because Jeff Howell, uh, that you hear on the Monsters of the Morning, I think that's one of his top ten albums of all time. Yeah. And if I remember right, the story behind Springsteen in Nebraska is, is that the, it, it, it was it very popular when it first came out? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah. Matter of fact, I believe that Born in the USA had to be written to save his contract. Because, really? Because yeah. of the album Nebraska. Yeah. Because it did not hit with the core Springsteen fans because of what just Jack said. It was very lo-fi kind of. But he had to write that Born in the USA album to save his deal, if I remember right. Wow. But now Nebraska is considered one of the greatest albums written that decade. Yep. Wow. And now you, you'll know that there'll be a movie coming out about it. Yeah, I, re I just had to watch. I, I don't know if you heard. But my sister sent me a text. Springsteen was on the latest Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, oh really? wow! And I, I haven't been watching that show. I went back to watch that episode, and he nailed it. Yeah, he's yeah. Right. It was pretty damn good. <laughs> and then finally, a Superman comic from 1938 has a hefty price tag. An original print edition of Action Comics number one was sold for. This week at an auction. This uh, is important because it introduces Superman for the first time, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because it was just Action Comics introducing Superman. So it's the first time you saw that character in print, which is the worst superhero of them all, by the way. Okay. Hot take. Hot yeah, take. It, it's not, you want to go not. first, Jack? What do you think it sold for? I am going to recycle my earlier guess and say $6 billion. No, $6 <laughs> billion. Is not. But this is the one that that dude, uh, that um, the guy who started... Um, uh, Todd McFarlane McF right. had one of these at one point. And really? I think, I think that dude paid like three and a half or four, and this is like 10 or 15 years ago. I think I'll go I'll go seven point three million. Wow, so close. Six million. Oh, there you nice. go. Nice. Yeah, very close. Heritage Auctions claims this makes it the most valuable comic book in the world. Yeah. Uh, only two hundred thousand copies of Action Comics number one were printed back in nineteen thirty eight. And there's probably only 100 copies still in existence today. I still think that's amazing that there would be 100 of them. And they would be in uh, just uh, every stage of disrepair oh, you can yeah. imagine. Oh, yeah, Yeah, finding one in really good shape is like where it has to be hidden away in a trunk in somebody's yep. house to get lucky, you know. Well, those stats were uh, according to a Florida-based comic book grading service. Wow. And now you all are officially woke. Thanks, Deb. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Back in just one sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Real radio is real music weekends. Real music weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. 
This is your midday weather update on Fox 35. Storm Team meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. Today, high clouds, our high temperature close to 80 degrees. All eyes on the sky for a 3.03 p.m. partial solar eclipse, where roughly 60% of the sun will be covered for several minutes this afternoon. You may notice a brief dip in temperatures before they warm back up. Speaking of temperatures, we'll be back up toward 90 by the middle of the week. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. What could you do in 15 minutes? How about a premium oil change? At Valvoline Instant Oil Change, our certified technicians will guide you in, use only premium products, and get you back out on the road in no time. Quick, easy, trusted. That's Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with variety of color options, hardware, and more bumps up your curb appeal, too. Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews, and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find anywhere. They're even transferable if you sell your home. During their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $825 on all patio doors, plus no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, great news. Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Get more details at rbafla.com. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, license number C. CGC 1527613. Only one in five people with autism are employed, despite many having the skill set and desire to work. Maybe it's because employers don't know what kind of jobs they can do. Like, what about a programmer? That's a job for someone with autism. Uh, how about a healthcare worker? Yep. That is too. People with autism can do a lot of different jobs, but often get overlooked due to outdated stigmas. Introducing WIN by Autism Speaks. We help businesses lead the way in inclusive hiring. What about a ranch hand? To learn more, go to autismspeaks.org slash WIN. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. In this week's Marketer's Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing. Although we're marketing at a very broad scale, it does include specific local markets, and that's the beauty of iHeart's network. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of repair. From simple repairs to upgrades, it's A1 from day one. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Our springs, rollers, and openers are tested by running them up and down, open and closed, all day, 24-7, so you can build confidence with every A1 garage door repair. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. As the weather starts to warm up, keep those creepy crawlers outside by calling A1 Garage Door Service today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1 Garage.com, A1 from day one. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Introducing Tanzite Stone Tile Flooring. 
a game changer in the tile industry. Say goodbye to the trade-off between durability and easy installation with Tanzite's revolutionary indoor-outdoor stone tile. Visit Tanzite.com to see how our tile is installed without concrete or mortar. Instead, our innovative rubber gasket system connects the tiles together. Each tile coming pre-assembled, you simply grab one and place it. No expertise needed. At Tanzai.com, you can see how our foam back tiles contour to cover any existing floor while insulating against sound and cold. Beautiful and versatile, Tanzai tile adapts to indoor or outdoor use. From kitchens to patios on concrete basements or wooden decks. All with the durability of stone that's guaranteed for life. Witness this innovative product yourself and order a sample today at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E dot com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take ZQuil. ZQuil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non habit forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with ZQuil nights. Explore our products at ZQuil.com. Use is directed. Keep out of reach of children. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Want more from us? At the Jim Colbert Show on Instagram. Follow us. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us easily at 77031. If you want to leave a talk back, you can do that as well. Download the iHeartRadio app. Once you get it, go to realradio.fm or Real Radio, and then uh, use that microphone to send it on down the line. Jack is waiting, and then he will put it on the air, and you can be a superstar. It's Let's that easy. go. It's just that easy, Deb. Do it. All right, welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. <clears throat> Jack is here as well, back from his Hi there. vacation. We will not talk about it yet. I want to get you a full-blown segment to talk about it. There's a lot to talk about. I know, buddy. There's yeah. a lot to talk about. But I have so much video and pictures that I, I, I'm do, I'm releasing them through Instagram. Uh, and I saw I, the first one today. It's good. I'm doing one a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll have six of them. It's yeah. good. Yeah, it, it was fun. If you go and uh, check that out, you'll get a you'll get a clue of where Jack went. Ah, uh, there's some hints there for sure, and it all came from this timeshare. <laughs> and it all came from a timeshare thing. I know. Oh, by the way, was was the stay nice at the timeshare? Is that where it was? So where? Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, don't, you don't have to say where it was. I, don't, I mean, we, we, can tell I, them. we totally can. I'm, 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 if, okay. You know, b- before we go away, I was like, you know, just being uh, quiet about it, and now we're back. I'm sure. happy to to discuss but um it happened it was a year ago uh, my wife and i were at sea world and you know someone approached me with a clipboard and you know i'm not afraid of people so right. i answered <laughs> why'd their you look qu- at me when you said that i, yeah. an- <laughs> I answered their <laughs> questions and they're like you know and then it's like well we want to you know they start talking about this vacation stuff i'm like they're, oh. they're, they're like listen if you do this we can give you a week free stay at resorts all over the world. Boom. I'm like, done. I'm listening. He, he, he heard the magic word. <laughs> free. free. And what's funny is then they they'll like they take your ID and they'll like they'll they'll run it or whatever they do. I don't know. And they're it's like they make it sound like it's random. I'm like, oh, you didn't. But uh, can your wife try? And so we did it with my wife's ID, and now suddenly she's a winner, and we get this opportunity. Right. Oh, right, Meanwhile, right, 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 right. You know, and, I'm uh, going to go out on a limb and say 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because instead of just one person's personal information, now they have both yeah, That's ours. right, buddy. Oh, that's, right. that's right. brilliant. Hey, you didn't win, and I promise you, we yeah. did not keep your info. Uh, Let's try your wife. I kind of <laughs> knew. I, I knew what I was getting into, did but, right, uh, yeah. you know, they're like, if you... It's a vacation club rental. It was, you know, it was at a Wyndham. So it's like names I recognize. Mm-hmm. Sit through this and they promise. Even if you don't buy, you get this free week or the week 
for a seventy-five dollar fee. You get a you get a week at any one of the resorts, right? Mm-hmm. And so I'm a sucker. I remember I t- I talked about it a year ago. People were texting, "You'll never use it. You'll never right, get it." This right. and that. Right, right. And, but you have a year to book, okay. and so we've been watching, watching, and I wanted to do it at the beginning of this year. And when it finally came up, you could only book. They give you the room that they haven't rented out yet. So they right. only allow you to book a couple weeks out. And, Deb, that would be the room that all the prostitutes died in. <laughs> That's just a little inside knowledge. I found yeah. no shadiness in this yeah, room. Yeah, hooker a day dies right there. <laughs> but we, we finally found a location, and they have places popping up, these weird, like Branson, Missouri. I'm right. like, I don't want to go to Branson. Let's go to Branson. Yeah, exactly. There, it it could have oh, been in the five, Ozarks. Or, five nights in a row of the Oak Ridge Boys. Yeah. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> there was a place in New Jersey I've never heard of. So yeah, it's right. like... Then we, I'm like, well, let's check this part of the country. Hey, you want to you want to mix it up with some Trace Atkins? Now we <laughs> we found a place, and it was a it was a condo that they they rent out. Mm-hmm. It was built in the 1980s. Yep, next to a graveyard. Had a fresh coat of paint, a new ceiling fan. Everything else was from the 1980s, <laughs> oh, exactly. and, including the mattress and the couch. Oh, that said, oh. it was nice. It was a two bedroom, slept for, fit our needs. Had two bathrooms, a kitchen, yeah. TV that worked, fireplace. Even the bed bugs were watching Miami Vice. <laughs> Was a little worried about bed bugs, but didn't see any, didn't feel any. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Not itching right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, you'll know if you got them, dog. Uh, yeah, the, the place oh. itself, it, it served our purposes. It gave us a nice central location to kind of branch well, out, and that's what we did. We explored another uh-huh. state, all from this one location. The telltale sign of those things is what's it smell like the minute you crack oh. the seal of the door? That's what I do. Stick your head and go... <laughs> oh, yep. God, yeah. That's 1984. The smell and of death. that's how I... The couch. I'm like... That's yeah. an old couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I do. Yeah. Seriously, that's my wife will not. I still sat on it. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're taking our own sheets. We don't roll the dice on this. I don't know if you watched them. You got to make sure you watched them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got to have to make sure you watch those. We're bringing our own kids. Not doing that. And we're going to put something over the couch. Not doing that either. <laughs> not going to sit in your Friday night ecstasy party if you feel me. Ooh. No. Nope. No. Not going to sit where your dog uh, aims his puke, <laughs> and then you just turn the cushion over, you know, as not to have to clean. Yeah. <laughs> but a good stay? Good time? Yeah, w- without a doubt. So it actually worked out. I didn't do anything with the vacation rental. We said no that day a year ago, and they had a certificate. I And just as promised, I was able to log in, book a place, you know, by what they had available. Uh But we found a place that worked for us, and that's how we ended up where we went. Very nice. That's cool. So you get that? You got the stay for free? Yeah. Well, very good. Yeah, it cost 75 bucks. 75 bucks. bucks. Nothing. There there was no more out of pocket. Let Let me ask. Within $50, do you believe Jack knows exactly how much this trip cost him? Without a doubt, down to the did red you, penny. Did you hear that laugh? Yes, because did you I, hit did it I on make, the nail. Did I make eye contact with Jack while Didn't that happened? Didn't have hat? to. Have you and I talked about this? No. Do you hear that laugh? Yeah. How well do I know that cat? <laughs> Within 50 bucks, no question, Jack Bradshaw knows exactly how much this trip he just took cost him. Am I accurate? In Sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until we went. He's I, blushing. I can see the redness from <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, he and knows. he turned he's, his lights he down. He knows. He's so right. He's got receipts. The, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everything going into it, I, I knew where I was exactly. And But once we there, we, we just, whether we were eating out, I didn't, I stopped counting. You know, it's just, we were going to eat or whatever we did, uh, you know, souvenirs. Uh, everything we did, I, I didn't concern and, myself. I wasn't going to let that affect our good time. And time. that's that's a learned thing. That it, is a, it's a very yeah, proud yeah, of so you, Jack. Jack. And I had a, listen, Jack and I have had a lot of talk about this. Jack and I are the same age. We've we've known each other very, very long. Uh, we know each other's wives and lives and stuff like that. And we know through moving through life that Jack used to do that a little bit, and he would tell me about it. He goes, man, I used to do this. i got to stop yep. doing this. Yep. I'm proud of you. That's yep. awesome. That's great, that's, Jack. Yeah. That's called going on vacation. Yes. Exactly. And I tried to, you know, uh, disengage from work, and we just had a wonderful yeah, yeah. time. I, w- I will tell you straight up, I made, a, I, I made a little side bet with my wife of how often I would hear from Bradshaw on his vacation. I would have <laughs> lost I thought for sure Jack would have at least emailed or text maybe eight or ten times while he was gone. No, he was very good this time. I think it was once. Yeah. I think it was one time. Um, I got an email. uh, We we did earlier on in the week. Yeah. About something. And I remember saying, I'll take care of it so you can get back to your vacation. Very good. I like that.
I mean, that's a great job. Yeah, it, it's a, you know, with email, it's tough because I looked, and on Tuesday alone, I got over 90 emails. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it was like no. I, I, a couple, a handful I, I shot back, and yeah. one when uh, an upper boss sent one that's like, yeah, I'll get right on that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely yeah. not on vacation, Mr. Right. Romano. Exactly. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. <laughs> back in a sec. And we'll go over Jack's vacation when we get back. It's like a text message. With your voice, the talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Looking at a slow ride on I-4 this afternoon, both east and westbound for those traveling between the Beach Line and 535. No problems to report on the Beach Line or on the Greenway this afternoon. Traffic also moving well east and westbound for those who need to take the 408 today. If you run into traffic problems, make sure you're calling the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Robert Half. Robert Half Research indicates 9 out of 10 hiring managers are having difficulty hiring. Robert Half is here to help. Their recruiting professionals use proprietary AI to connect businesses with highly skilled talent. At Robert Half, they know talent. Visit roberthalf.com today. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here from my friends over at the Filatowski Eye Institute. If you have anyone who's experienced LASIK surgery, they're going to tell you the one thing. They should have done it a long, long time ago because what you get is unbelievable results. And that's what happens at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Now, these guys are offering free LASIK consultations. Why wouldn't you find out what they could do for you to make your life easier and better? No glasses or contacts. And you can make your appointment so easily. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatowski Eye Institute. You're worried about uh, experience? Don't. These guys have it. 65,000 of these LASIK procedures they've done using the latest state-of-the-art tech. That gets you the best results possible. And if finances is a concern, do not worry there either. 24-month interest-free financing is available. Do this. Text 1041 to 868686 and schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Guys, if you fight with bad vision, you don't have have to. This is a game-changing procedure. Make that appointment today. Take advantage of this free consultation. Your path to better vision starts right now. Are you ready to put some cash in your pocket? Because Real Radio is giving you a chance to win $1,000 by putting a grand in your hand. You know the deal with our national contest. We'll give you a keyword at the top of every hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And all you have to do is enter it on our website at realradio.fm for your chance to win. With 13 chances every weekday, you'll have plenty of opportunities to win a grand in your hand. But there is a catch, because there's always a catch. Right. If you get a call, you need to answer your phone. That's right. The key to winning is picking up your phone when we call. So don't send us to voicemail. This contest brought to you locally by Mills Air. Mills Air been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. Carrier factory authorized dealer. Rebates up to $1,275 for brand new carrier units. Turn to the experts. Carrier. And you can always turn to the experts at MillsAir.com. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most. Attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, and working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Visit iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. If it plugs and turns on whatever the make, get it all covered because everything it's a fact. Things in your home are gonna break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings too. For a free coverage quote now. Call 800-FIX-IT-77. That's 800-FIX-IT-77. One free call could save you thousands. Get it all covered your way, cause everything breaks. 
Subject to limitations and exclusions apply. See plan terms and conditions for details. Coverage not available in all states. Actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed. Call 800 fix it 77 Online at GoEverythingBreaks.com. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Get ready for three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. Not this weekend, but next weekend. You get extra savings across the board, up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings. Best prices all year and up to three years zero interest. Next weekend at IDC. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. They're modern-day con artists, and they're the focus of Creating a Con, a true crime anthology podcast. Season 1 spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam, endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather, and built on empty promises and millions from built investors. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme, and I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere, a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. New South Windows Solutions. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio now comes with moving pictures. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Hey, during the intro to your show, I looked directly at the sun, and now all you guys sound like Roz. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be weird. <laughs> would have been the worst thing ever. No, no not, not at all. all. I talked to Sweet Ross today for about an hour, 45 minutes or so. Doing good. Yeah. Everybody says, hey. He's, uh, he, there's no quick phone calls with him. There's no quick phone call with Ross. There's I no, love that. Uh, I want to drop in and see what's going on. That does not happen with my dog. My dog will talk. The The only time I had a, like, on Saturday, I called him, and it was right before. He was in between sets. He was doing a, a shift at Universal. And he's like, got to go. Got to go. I'll have to give him a call soon. Yeah. Miss our uh, three-hour conversation that we had recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. Jack is back. I am. Um, So, Jackson, where'd you go? So, we've uh, basically spent a week in the land of enchantment. Oh. That is New Mexico. Oh. Yay. Now, I, I, I have to ask... Did, you had already planned this, right? This uh, My experience there had no impact on you going there, right? Correct. Or, or, well, yeah, because no. you had already planned that, right? Well, it was actually, it was less than a month earlier because, uh, as I, we were talking about in the last segment, well, I was looking at the timeshare locations and the, the stuff on the East Coast didn't really look interesting. North Carolina, we just did the year before. Right. So I'm like, let me try go, the Southwest. And the funny thing is, is when you go all the way out West, it's kind of, it's such a cumbersome trip to go all the way out there, unload, because you have to have like a day of jet lag going there and back. Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of a pain in the ass where you and I think is perfect. And so we flew into, uh, we stayed in Ruidiso. 
which is in the southern center of the state of New Mexico. Yeah, baby, New okay. Mexico. We flew into El Paso, Texas. Yeah, yeah. So rented a car there and then drove. It was two and a half miles to Ruidiso. And then out of there, the center of the state, we did all different things throughout the state. Uh, I drove over 1,330 miles wow. in the week. Yep. That yeah. is all through it, New Mexico and absolutely loved it. It was the gorgeous. Only way to do it. Yeah. It is I, I'm telling you, man, New Mexico is one is one of our really great little hidden it never gets any mention. It gets made fun of. If it wasn't for Breaking Bad, I don't think many people would even know it's still there now. No kidding. And it's funny because I mentioned someone, I'm, you know, I'm going to New Mexico and someone's like, Why? <laughs> Why not? Why would you go there? Well, so when we looked at Ruidiso and this condo was available and this timeshare deal that, you know, I got me and my wife hooked up in, right. you know, I was like, okay, well, let's see if we do that, what's available to us? And then I looked and you have Carlsbad Caverns, which was a three hour drive away. However, it's the largest uh, underground cavern system in North America and was absolutely Breathtaking. amazing. Breathtaking. Absolutely we, great. We didn't go. Uh, because we were on a time yeah. crunch and we chose White Sands instead, yeah. and we just found it's not they're, they're not that far apart, uh, are they? Uh, yeah, that, that about an hour and a half. Yeah, they're, they're, that's that, on the 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 western so, southwestern part of the state. And it was yeah. a I, that's exactly yeah. what we couldn't justify the three hours to get there, do the thing, and then come back. So we took we chose White Sands instead, right? And we regretted it. Yeah, not not that White Sands wasn't like otherworldly. Yeah, but the caverns I hear are amazing. Yeah. So on the way back from the caverns, went through Roswell, New Mexico oh, to get yeah. some UFO pictures in. Uh, and was then, it exactly what I said it was? Yeah. It, very cheesy. They, they lean into that UFO. <laughs> uh, it's on all their signs, and yeah, you see yeah. aliens everywhere. Like, like even Taco Bell. Yeah. Like your national chains for banks and fast food yeah. have their molded plastic signs, including like alien heads. Oh, yeah. Poking yeah. out from around it. Yeah. Yeah, so each day, and if uh, on my Instagram, at Yankee Jack, it's also linked to the Real Radio Instagram. Uh, you can check. I'm, I'm dropping a, a reel for each day of our trip because there was just so much that we got to see and do. Um, also, so went to White Sands. That was our second and last day there um, and spent a few hours there because they say the thing to do is catch sunset at White Sands. Now, White Sands is a missile testing range yes for the government yes it is also the site of the uh, the trinity uh, site of where they tested the nuclear bomb for the first time if you saw uh, oppenheimer this was at the end of oppenheimer when they tested the bomb this is where they did it that's at the top of white the northernmost point of white sands at the southernmost point they turned it into a, a national park it's white dunes it's white gypsum yeah, uh, oh, you know, wow. it's, yeah, yeah. it's weird because you'll drive through it and you're driving through it and it goes from being like the normal landscape of New Mexico and about like half a mile into the park, everywhere you look, it looks like it's an alien landscape yeah. Yeah. of crystal clear white sand. Yeah. So, uh, or crystal, you know, just like crystally white sand. And so, and, but sunsets are there when you get that color. We just, I think I shot like 200 pictures. I did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did so, you get the disc to write down the things? I did. And, <laughs> it's a little I, underwhelming. Yeah, yeah. It is, you're right. <laughs> uh, and my, actually, my wife posted a, a video on, of me rolling, sliding down. It's like whenever you're driving by the road, you see a giant pile of dirt. You imagine yourself as a kid. It's like, oh, I'd love to slide down right, there. Right. Well, this is an opportunity to do that. <laughs> you, they rent they have out, to. They rent out these little sleds, these saucer sleds, and you also have to get wax because this isn't slippery snow. No, it, no, it's no. gypsum. It's it's like a sand, but you have to like wax up the bottom, and then you can slide down these dunes. <laughs> and you know, I did it a couple times, and walking back up, ooh, that's that's yeah, some exercise fun. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you sink. I did it barefoot. Finally, I'm like, I'm taking my shoes off. Because yeah, yeah. I, I, I went up once and my shoes were filled with sand anyway. So, you know. It's What's weird, though. Point? It, it weird, it's weird, though, because um, especially this time of year, it was still pretty cool out. Oh, yes. Weather was sublime. So, so that doesn't stick to you. It's really bizarre. You think you're going to be coated in the sound because in Florida saying you do that? When we got done with it, we just noticed like nothing stuck to us. There's like no sand in our car. Did you guys have that? Uh, very little bit, yeah, yeah. and it was rental, and I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> However, I mean, the weather was great all those days, except one day we had a little cold snap where it was one bad day of weather. It rained, but then it quickly turned into snow. And suddenly I'm in the, the mountains at seven, elevation of 7,000. I was driving through snow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was just bizarre. <laughs> it's it, well, crazy. I remember it was, it was April 1st, and I'm driving <laughs> through, through snow. snow. Yeah. yeah.
the, driving through snow like in M- New Mexico was that was some of the scariest. Oh yeah, sc- that in Southern California when yeah. yeah that was. And what's weird is when you go out there because there's very little population because um, I think the entire state has a couple million people maybe. Yeah. And the infrastructure is perfect. Like the roads look like they were all just built. Yeah. That's the one thing you know. There's not a bump on a road in New Mexico on the major highways. Yeah. It is smooth sailing, baby. Oh, many Fun miles. Time. Yeah. And did you get the same experience I did when you would go like through the desert areas and it would just be like you like you were saying, you see a street sign, you know, um, you know, eighty or, or your your ways would tell you, you know, stay on this road for eighty five miles. Right, right. Like in Florida, you never get that. There's I mean, unless it's ninety five, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. not gonna see much in between except with the, the highways, the speed limit was seventy five, but as you approach a town, it keeps dropping. By 10, until you get down to 35 miles an hour, you go a couple blocks through that town, and then it just right back up to 75. Wow. Yeah. It is just a whole bunch of nothing. Did you guys go to uh, Meow Wolf? We did. Now, <laughs> we went to yeah. Albuquerque. We went to Santa Fe. Yeah. In Santa Fe is Meow Wolf, which is this art installation. Right. They got uh, about half a dozen throughout the U.S. And Jimmy, you mentioned that they're planning one in Orlando as well. Yes. But it is this trippy, immersive experience that that you go through and it's like it's almost it, impossible to explain or it, it, it really it, is it is like an adult yeah. fun house yeah. but it's even more than that yeah yeah definitely check out the 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 you know website of meow wolf and, it's cool and, and when yeah. we first started the show i went and i put a few pictures up on our social from years and years ago but if you just do a search online you can see what it's all about yeah it, it's very cool they started building the one here in orlando i think about two and a half three years ago two years ago so it should be done soon oh good looking yeah, forward but, to that uh, but I, I remember jimmy would after your trip, you mentioned it's like I opened up the refrigerator door and then you walk yeah. in the refrigerator door. And then I was like, so as soon as I got there, I'm like, we're in the kitchen. I'm like, wait, I know. I opened up that refrigerator door. I said, come on, honey, we're going. And you walk, you go in the refrigerator door. You Then you're in another tunnel and you come out in another room. And it's it's. So it's this art experience, but there's a story behind it. There's an app that goes with it. So it's like I still don't have the full story. You kind of get pieces of it. Right. But, uh, but now I have videos where my wife and I can go back and watch and kind of explain some of the things we experienced there, which is absolutely – it was so much fun. Did the uh, Sandia Peak Tramway, which takes a, a tram up the side of a mountain from the elevation of 6,000 – just outside of Albuquerque, up to the peak of 10,332. Oh, yeah. And the view, you could see for 100 miles, and there was snow on the ground everywhere there. Oh, wow. And 10,000 feet. Um, and, of course, because of Breaking Bad, and I, I didn't do the Breaking Bad tour, but I did look up one thing it, from Breaking Bad, and it's the restaurant that was, you know, uh, where where Gus Fring worked, where Los Polos Hermanos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's actually called Twisters. Uh-huh. We went there, and, uh, you know, and they expect you <laughs> because, <laughs> because by the, you know, I'm there, I get out, you know, and first thing I'm doing, I'm taking a picture of the building, right? right. I, I sent it to Ross and the Sea Lane because they both watch the show. Yeah, yeah. So they knew, but... Uh, you know, then you go inside and they have the, the sign Los Poyos Hermanos on the wall. Got the selfie there. And they have this little uh, uh, part of it that's a little dedication to Breaking Bad with pictures of the creator Vince Gilligan and, and the stars Brian Cranston and whatnot. And uh, a little green, uh, a little meth, uh, you know, contraption <laughs> there yeah, sure. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they leaned into it, you know, and uh, and that was really neat to just kind of walk in that area where they, they filmed uh, part of one of the greatest shows on TV. Yeah, no question. I, I, the other thing, too, is I was telling Jack, I said, um, how was the food? And he looked at me and he started smiling. I said, best burrito I ever had in my life. I ate there. Five o'clock in the morning, we pulled up to a, what used to be an old Cumberland Farms. Yeah, yeah. It's been turned into a Mexican restaurant. They made the chorizo sausage on property. The, the eggs came from the chickens out back. I mean, it was one of those things. This thing looked like a small fire hydrant, and yeah. it was like $7, <laughs> yeah. and it was the best thing ever. And their food like that is everywhere yep. in New Mexico. Yep. It's good everywhere. It is. And cheap. Cheap. Yeah. God, I could not. Hey, look, man, there should be an exodus to that state because it is a real, and it, and it just feels different. There's, there's something different about it. The so, ground is different. It is. We went through, it was windy season when we were there, uh, but also you didn't have to deal with the summer heat because they, in the summer, I mean, oh, yeah. all the pools were empty, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. because no one's swimming at this time of year. Right. I mean, 
we still had snow. Sure. It was windy season, but in, in October, the one time I went prior to this to Santa Fe, outside of Albuquerque, they have the balloon fiesta, yeah. and it's the giant hot air balloon. The Great show, Ascension. Uh, it, it, with, at, with the night glow, and that goes on for like nine days. That happens in October every year. That usually is what draws the most tourists. Yeah. Uh, to New Mexico and Albuquerque, um, you know, in in October. But it was absolutely fantastic. And on my last day there, I I got stuck in traffic. And there were signs that there may be smoke and explosions because they're filming a movie. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But And we were stuck, and we had to wait as they filmed it. And it was, the the movie is, remember the Paradise Fires? Ross had us watch for What You Do, That's Do, a documentary about the fires in Paradiso, California. Yes. They're making a movie about it, starring Matthew McConaughey. No oh, way! Wow. He was in, and they filming in Rio Doso, where I was, and he was driving the bus back and forth down the main strip as part of filming oh, that movie. Oh, wow, yeah. dude. Wow. So I had to wait in traffic because he was doing that. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Check out Mr. Bradshaw so, having a burrito. Each, so if, if you're interested... Uh, at Yankee Jack on Instagram, I believe I'm releasing one of these uh, videos. I have to keep editing them uh, each day this week. I'll share them on the Real Radio Instagram, oh, so yeah, you won't miss it there. But it was it's an a good time out there, blast. and uh, you did it the right way. You got to rent a car and drive around that place. You just got to drive around that state and just feel that thing, man. There's just something out there. I want to do it more with different places. I yeah, don't know, yeah. maybe Arizona next with Sedona. I tell you I, another one that I, we're thinking about. Idaho. It's supposed to be one of those states where it's like so naturally, overwhelmingly beautiful. You like you can't believe it. Nobody talks about it. I, I'm just I'm focusing I'm zooming in on na- uh, on national parks and then see what can I do in that area yeah, yeah. and then they they don't have to be a week long it maybe it's four days right. or so but uh, and these are so much fun. and these are cheaper vacations too because you're away from the touristy stuff you're just kind of taking in the culture of that area good job I'm glad you went buddy all right four seven nine one six one zero four one text us seven seven zero three one Brandon Kravitz up next with sports you text us at seven seven zero three one and we say it on the air. Sometimes we might even give you credit. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Still looking at a slow ride this afternoon on I-4 in the Orlando area, both east and westbound on the interstate between Osceola Parkway and 535. Looking at axe activity at Ronald Reagan Boulevard at Dog Track Road. Another crash partially blocks the exit ramp westbound on Maitland Boulevard at Hiawassee Road. If you see other traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Walt Disney World Dot Jobs. Walt Disney World Resort is hiring. Explore a variety of full-time and part-time roles at the heart of the magic and enjoy great benefits like complimentary theme park admission, exclusive discounts, and more. Apply today at WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. Once a year in the spring, IDC does something insane, and it's happening next weekend, April 19th through 21st. Three days of extra savings store-wide. They're taking up to 20% off of IDC's already unbeatable prices. Plus, get zero interest financing for up to three years. A $20 million three-day sale on all rings, all earrings, all pendants, all bracelets. Even designer engagement rings and designer fashion jewelry will be on sale. Wedding bands, time pieces. It's three days only, April 19th through 21st at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed, life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most, attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Call 844-AD-HELP-5. That's 844-AD-HELP-5. Are you an experienced contractor with a passion for quality? Want industry-leading compensation? Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Renewal by Anderson values your experience and talent. We offer aggressive bonus opportunities and year-round installation.
installation work. All installation materials are provided and windows are pre-measured and ready to install. If you're ready for a new job opportunity, call us today, 855-769-0RBA. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms? It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Are your energy costs through the roof? Call the company that has been in business for 20 years. FAS is now offering $500 off any window and or door project. A plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS or visit us at FASWD.com. We're also having a giveaway of $20,000 in window and doors with no purchase necessary. To enter for the giveaway, go to FASWD.com slash giveaway. That's FASWD.com slash giveaway. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take ZQuil. ZQuil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non habit forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with ZQuil nights. Explore our products at ZQuil.com. Use is directed. Keep out of reach of children. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 call Mo. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go, just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorney. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm damaged roof and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. He knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman. I'm Johnny B. Good, the host of the podcast, Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin. This podcast dives deep into the story of Ray Trapani and his company, Centratech. I'll explore how 320-somethings built a company out of lies, deceit, and greed. I've been saying since a very young age that I was going to be a millionaire. If someone was like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. Listen to Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Need more animals, more gators, and more fun? Y'all need Gatorland. The Jim Colbert Show, streaming live on YouTube. Watch us talk. You heard the man. Watch us talk. Go to the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get there and use that microphone to send it on down the line if you have an opinion or something fun to say or something that happened this weekend you think we would like to hear about. We'll do all that on TalkBack. All right, welcome back. I am Jim. Debs here. Hello. And Jack's here. Yo. And every single Monday at 420, this gentleman comes by. He does sports every day, 3 until 6 over there, 96.9 The Game. Good loud for Mr. Brandon Kravitz. Yeah. Broiler is in the house. Hey, Broiler. What's up, big dog? It doesn't get old. Never does. <laughs> never does, never will. <laughs> this segment sponsored by the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind at pound 546 on your cell or when you need us.com. Got no, a lot no, to come no, through here. See nothing really happening out there. It's uh, as the spring ramps up slash shuts mm. down, we have an incredible women's NCAA uh madness i mean all the way down to the championship game had all the drama you wanted legendary athletes and then of course we have the ncaa men's championship coming up the masters is in a week i mean there is some blank happening out there and a massive wrestlemania and i tell you what let's start there uh uh, because let's get Ah, we'll get to the real sports in a minute i haven't talked about this enough on my show today and i'm not being sarcastic okay i well here's the thing i added this in there because i would never talk about wrestling not my thing but i completely understand it has a lot to do and and i'm like well 
the people who listen to our program have kids that do, and I know that your son absolutely loves this stuff, right? No, he, no, he doesn't. No? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clear that up for you, Jim. Yeah, exactly. I tried to, I tried to give you an out there, big uh, dog. There's I no need for an out. I appreciate that. I have. Uh, I've been a fan since I was my son's age, actually. So I'm kind of like looking at him, like, yeah. when are we going to get this started? I got to tell you, it, it's very interesting because WrestleMania is able to capture headlines still, and you know, that's tough. BJ Tour right now is having a hard time capturing a headline. I mean, the, you know, you know what I'm saying? They don't have like any stars. There's no attraction to it. And every single time they do this WrestleMania thing, it destroys the headlines the next day. And it did it again today. Yeah. Like everywhere, this news is out there. So, and how isn't long- that funny? Because so, so many people walk around for whatever reason, and I think less now than ever before, but ashamed of their wrestling fandom. It's like, okay, the numbers don't back up. It's almost yeah, like porn yeah. <laughs> in a way. Like the numbers don't back up. Nobody's watching how it. Ashamed, how, no, no one talks about it, <laughs> yet the numbers are through the roof. Yeah, Somebody's yeah. watching this yeah, stuff. Yeah, uh, it, yeah I mean, so it, it was circle, so entertaining. A little bit of circle of life last night. Uh, very much so. Uh, Cody Rhodes crowned the champion of um, of the WWE Kingdom last night, and he's the first member of the Rhodes family to be the highest ranking. Ch- they have a lot of belts, but to be the highest ranking champion in WWE, it was something that Dusty Rhodes flirted with during his illustrious career. Even won a match and then had it yanked away. And they're talking about like early '80s when this happened. Uh, and he became the champion only to have it stripped later that night. And they, and they did like the callbacks last night to that and um, the, the pomp and circumstance around his dad where all the baby faces come out of the locker room and lift him up. Same thing happened to Cody last night. The callbacks during the match to rivalries that have taken place over the last 10 plus years. The last five minutes of that match between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns, people are calling this the the greatest five minutes in wrestling history. Really? Wow. Because, uh, and I think it's going a little bit far, but it that was is. that this is, this is what people do the day after something cool happens. It's the cool, greatest thing that's ever yeah, happened, yeah, yeah. but it was amazing. I was watching this at home. I had gotten home from the magic game just in time to sit down and get ready for the main event. And the last five minutes literally knocked me off the couch. I was so excited with and enthralled with what I was watching I'll give you a very quick breakdown. So the bloodline is the the group headed by Roman Reigns that has been running the show. Okay. This storyline perspective. Okay, very good. Yep. That's fine. Has been running the show in WWE. He's been the champion for like 1,300 days. Yeah, but he lets his cousins do all his fighting for him. They Roman do all, Reigns, yeah. he hasn't been in the ring in so damn long. I would, all right. Yeah. Well, let's, let's start. Sounds like I can't, can't, the damn. Usos piss me off, man. Every time you're expecting Roman Reigns, the Usos walk in. Sounds like an injury storyline. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, that's been my beef with Roman Reigns for this. Like, get in no. there and fight or quit. Well, that talking the, like a bitch. This is what they, but this Am is. Am I the only one who doesn't know what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm, I'm trying hey, to tell Jack they, and I'll be right back. They <laughs> led to, the, and they, they built through that storyline, yeah. which led to a few legends coming out and helping Cody Rhodes in or out to winning the championship. So John Cena comes out when Roman Reigns gets helped by one of his cronies. Okay. And then the rock comes out to stop John Cena. Yeah. Cause he's and, part of the, he's part of the, uh, the okay. Yeah. Oh, the family. Part of the fam. Oh my God. Is every star in the and world? Then, and then the lights go dim, Jim, the lights go dim and you're gong. And the Undertaker is standing no, in the ring. No. Choke slams the rock. No, what? Which leads to Cody Rhodes winning the championship. It was electric. Awesome night. They're raking it in the dough. And, the, and really, when you think about it from a real life perspective, the weekend to me was all about this. It was the separation of that's, WWE from Vince McMahon. That's exactly yes. what the texting service is saying of all the stuff. That was the storyline that a lot of people are talking about. This is literally a changing of the guard. If you watch the show Succession, this is Succession in pro wrestling form. Yeah, yeah. And, but it real life. But it really is. Because uh, am I allowed to spoil Succession? Are we? No, it doesn't want to do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, 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 no, yeah, we don't. Even. Anyway, all right. Well, family members are taking over. The end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roll credits. Good cover. But Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon has been uh, officially tool. removed yeah. from WWE. Their decision making. Their business deals. And now Triple H, his real name is Paul Levesque, is running the show. His wife is Stephanie McMahon, the daughter of Vince. Stephanie McMahon, this is the last thing I'll say on it because we've got a lot to cover here. Stephanie McMahon came out night two of WrestleMania and said, I have been a part of every single WrestleMania that has ever existed in its 40 years. 
I am more proud of this one than any that have come before it. That is a big double bird to her yeah, dad. Yeah, who caused the company and his family tons of embarrassment with his actions oh, over the and the yeah. uncovering of his actions over the last at least five years. Not to mention, I mean, the man could be facing some pretty, se- I mean, serious allegations yeah. of sex trafficking. Yeah, Jesus. I mean, and think about it yeah. from the that's his daughter. Yeah, she's got a- kids. She's got to explain that. To Vince McMahon's grandkids, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not a position you want to be in. I would be furious, and you're seeing real life spill over into entertainment. It's yeah, and they're doing a really good job because to make it through that level of controversy, you got to be pretty damn good at what you're doing, and and, and they're rocking on it, all cylinders and, right now. And I think you know to end this, I mean, but I would think that it's also going to be held in a much higher regard because Triple H actually was a wrestler; he lived that life. Uh, but he doesn't have that drama that Vince had, and Vince never really wrestled for a living. He was just always a guy who occasionally got in the ring, but that really wasn't his thing. So yeah. I think maybe it'll be for, focused more toward keeping the actual athletes happy and maybe maybe moving toward that. Like, a, ha- player, like a player's coach rather right. exactly. than the, the dictator coach. It, exactly. All right, let's move on to some sports. Uh, hey, I, hey, we were I, just talking sports. Iowa does wind up losing, <laughs> and I think this was predicted they were going to lose to South Carolina, which is an absolute, you know, like a runaway sand truck. Yes, uh, they are 38-0. They became, <laughs> the, they became the 10th team in women's college basketball history to go from pillar to post without losing a single game over the course of the season. The last team to do it was in 2016. UConn had a run there where nobody could compete with them in college basketball. Um, and South Carolina is starting to mirror that. It's not just this year. It's really the last three seasons. And Iowa, ironically enough, Great storyline in real life there. Iowa knocked off South yeah. Carolina last year in the women's tournament. This year, South Carolina gets one up on Iowa by winning in the championship. The last three seasons, Jim, South Carolina is 109 and three. Yeah, it's bananas, dude. <laughs> they don't. Oh, it's oh, bananas. Oh, 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 They're unreal. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, that coach got a fat bonus. So that, as well she should. Or he Dawn should. Staley is awesome. Uh, she has captivated the, the, the team that she plays for and recruits all across the country. That has become the number one basketball power in all of women's college basketball. A great voice for female sports as well. Uh, I heard, I heard an interview with her this week, a great voice for female sports all across the board. Yes. Uh, and, you know, now she's being asked questions that she doesn't necessarily want to get in, in, in into. Uh, she doesn't want to get into debates with, you know, she was asked about the transgender situation yeah. with women's sports. And she's like, really go have fun with your headline, but answered it eloquently and all right. of that. After the game, I thought this was such a classy move and I'm not trying to take shine off of South Carolina. They, they really should be the story today. But the season belonged to Caitlin Clark. Sure. She has taken this sport uh, and done more for it in one year than anybody has in years prior. There was foundation built to put her in this position, but her star power strapped a rocket to the back of women's college basketball. And brought and eyes to those other players as well that are out there. Yeah, so it, it's And good. Don Staley, yeah. the head coach of South Carolina, mentioned that. She was up right. on the podium accepting her trophy and said, let's give credit to one of the GOATs and Caitlin Clark for lifting up this sport all class yeah. i love it it was great for women's athletics obviously great for women's college basketball probably great for the wnba but for me and in, in my perspective as a sports talk host it's great for us because the more we get to talk about the better out the better and more viable our jobs are and i'm sitting there selfishly looking at it through my lens at three o'clock yesterday going this is great because i've never opened my show in years right. past talking about the women's championship game it gives me another tool in the tool belt that i can go to and not just talk about for the pc reasons because it's trendy and it feels good but because you all care right and i know you do because we go back to the The numbers numbers, the numbers people are watching it yeah people are watching it more than they're even watching nba games more than they're watching hockey games and that's what we discuss we talk about the things that you watch that are a big deal and uh, and this clearly has resonated with people. Another show that opened with it was the cold open for Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah. On Saturday, and they they kind of did the the Barkley and the panel discussion, but it was all about how they were all interested in the the female game, and <laughs> and the guys game that they had no interest in. <laughs> well, I didn't see that. That's that's good. Well, the men's game finally uh, <laughs> men's game is uh, not tonight. Tomorrow night. Next that's week. tonight. 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 Okay, I'd make sure I've been uh, packing all. Well, weekend. if that doesn't tell the uh, tell the story for you well, right there, I've been packing all weekend long. Had no idea. I want to make sure I was right there. But this game is going to be not much of a game at all, is it? 
Uh, this team, no, I th- think I think it could. Be, I think it could be. I, UConn I, I, is UConn is their own version of a runaway freight train. But well, I'm not going to sleep on Purdue. I think UConn wins. I would take UConn to cover if you can still get it at six and a half. But I but I do think Purdue is going to make a game of it. What UConn ends up doing is they just kind of like wear you down over the course of the game, and they're really good on the fast break. They'll turn you over and they'll score two seconds later. Um, so I think at some point it'll catch up with Purdue, but I think it's going to be a game throughout. Zach Eady is the best player in the country. He's seven, four, he is elite defensively and there's not really a great matchup for him unless you've got a guy that can match him size wise and nobody does. Right. So I do think, I, I think Purdue is going to make it a game. It'll probably be a really interesting first half and uh, and could be interesting in the second half, and UConn pulls away yeah. in the final five minutes. We'll see how it goes, man. I've heard everything from UConn winning by up to 20 uh, against I mean, this UConn team. UConn has because... a loss by less than 13 in the tournament. <laughs> right. yeah. Or I'm sorry, or UConn hasn't won by less than yeah, 13 yeah. in the tournament. Yeah, I've heard nothing but double digits, and I've heard possibly up to 20 is where it could go if everything hits on all cylinders. And it's so funny hearing that own team talk about themselves, saying, like, you know, we're, it's tough to beat us here. It's tough to beat us there. We wear you down. We beat you up. You know, it, it makes it tough for you in the fourth quarter. You're so exhausted because we're we're always on you. They always say the word we, 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 we. Uh, and you get the fit. You get the idea. They think they're all just kind of one big blob, one octopus of a basketball team. They kind of so, are. Kind of fun to watch that. Let's move on to the Orlando Magic. Exciting season this year. Oh, my God. God, uh, dude, come on with this. This is great. <laughs> I mean, this is exactly what the Magic have been building towards, right? Jim, if I had told you (laughs) we're sitting here having this segment in, let's see, the season starts in mid-October. If I told you early October, you said, give me a quick season preview. I said, right behind the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference, here come the Orlando Magic. You'd probably stop having me on. You'd be like, (laughs) he lost his credibility. I'm not sure he's a serious person. Let's stop talking to Brandon Kravitz about basketball. He would definitely cuss you out. The Magic are one game out from the two seed right now. One game. And they have and the team that's in front of them, Milwaukee, they play twice. They have four games left on the, on the schedule. Two of them are against Milwaukee. So most likely, and Milwaukee's got a tough final four games too. They play Boston. They play Oklahoma right. City. If Orlando wins those two games, they're going to be the two seed. And then here's the real irony in all of this is as it stands right now, it's probably the worst place they could be. Right. Because the... The I've two said seed, that, right? We want to be in the middle of the pack. The two plays the seven. Yeah. Right now, the seven is the Philadelphia 76ers. They are not a real seven seed. They got Joel Embiid back. The reason they slipped is because he right. missed a ton of games. They would be the two seed right now if he were still healthy. So I don't want to run into Philadelphia. Now, if Philadelphia falters a little bit down the stretch. They'll lose their spot to Miami. So the first round series could be Orlando and Miami. Wow. If Orlando gets the two seed, you're much safer. If you sit at the three or fall to the four. But that's what we talked about last week, right? Or a yeah. couple of weeks ago, you want to be in the middle of the pack. You don't want to be like in the seventh or eighth, and you don't want to be one or two. I mean, you, know, you can almost guarantee yourself through that first round if you play well, yeah. and then anything can happen from there. And that's what I want to see, and that's the reason why we frame it that way, because where we are in the season right now, I don't expect the Magic to win the championship, to even play in the finals. It is a possibility, even if it's an outside possibility, that they make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but the clearest path for them to get there, if that's what you're cheering for, is to face New York or Indiana in round one. They will be significant underdogs against Philadelphia. Yeah. And they will probably be underdogs against Miami. Uh, I think they'll be favored against New York or Indiana, and I want to see this team advance. Now, being favored or being underdog, that doesn't guarantee anything. And ultimately, it's awesome that we're having this conversation. I was about to say the fact that we're even talking about this. I want to make sure that I get this out there. Don't get me wrong. If the Magic are matched up with Miami or Philadelphia, bring it all the way (laughs) on. I'm in on that. I'm just saying it's going to be a lot tougher. If you want to see this team advance, you should not be cheering for them to face one of those two teams as riveting as it would be yeah. for however long the series would last. Oh, it's good seeing you, boss. Are we done already? We're done already. Oh if goodness. you're going to believe it, you're a minute late, oh, actually. We just got started. It's all that WrestleMania talk. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, as he says with disdain. <laughs> Listen to Under Oath with Attorney Jeff Kaufman every Saturday morning, 7.30 a.m. on 96.9 The Game in Real Radio 104.1. Extended versions available by searching Under Oath with Jeff Kaufman on your favorite streaming platform. Catch me this Friday, Hourglass Brewing on Curry Ford Road, their district location. We're dropping our second beer with them and all of you in this room 
and all of you listening to this show are invited to come and hang out. Boss man, the last time I went, I had a damn good time. And I have to tell you, the old wifey is out of town this weekend. Uh-oh. And are I, you coming? And I it maybe, was so cool. I'll, when you I'll, walked through the door, <laughs> I lit up, genuinely. Maybe. So what, what time does this happen at Hourglass on Friday? So we'll do our show from 3 to 6, but the hangout is after we go off the air. So 6 p.m. to close, and the Magic play the Sixers that night, so we'll have that up on the screen. as well. Man, it was so much fun last time. If you guys want to go down, I'm more than likely going to be there on Friday night That's to awesome. hang out and have a beer. Uh, it's just a fun crowd. All uh, right, Jim's Jim, driving, Dad. No, stop. Get out of here. <laughs> Jim, first one's on me. Okay, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Give it up for Brandon Kravitz. Yay! Yay! Woo-hoo! All right, back to your hole, broiler. Back to your hole. All right, back in a sec. Real Radio it, it, it is. The Monsters in the Morning. Gentlemen, everyone bring in their favorite piece of meat tomorrow. <laughs> and and, and collectively, all five, all four of us will spank the meats oh, with our uh, seasoning. Uh, yeah. They oh, won't care yeah. if we do it. Yes, oh, yes they will. The Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center. Cooltoday.com. I am Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Midday Weather Update for Central Florida. Today we'll see a high near 80 degrees with times of passing clouds. All eyes to the sky for the 3.03 p.m. peak to a partial solar eclipse where roughly 60% of the sun will be covered by the moon. It may dip in temperature for a few degrees during that time period, just a couple of minutes of that before warming back up after the event is over. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Yeah, just here glancing at my weather app, and I can see, oh, yeah, there you go, 89, 89, 89. It's coming, guys. Before you know it, it is going to be steady 85, 86, 88, 89 degrees, the humidity will slowly climb. What you have to ask yourself is, is your AC ready for what could be a brutal summer? If not, you got to get with my friends over at Mills Air. Hundreds of Central Floridians lean on their experience every single year to make sure their AC is ready to go at the beginning of summer. That's the preventive maintenance plan. I strongly suggest it. And when you're dealing with these guys, you're dealing with wonderful people first. They're good human beings that happen to be in the AC business and leon mills is the greatest when you see their vans rolling down the driveway you can breathe that sigh of relief everything's fine these techs can service all the brands you don't even have to know what kind of ac you have but listen if you do need a new unit they're carrier factory authorized dealers that can get you up to 1275 dollars in rebates towards that brand new carrier unit you can always turn to the experts at carrier and certainly turn to family owned and operated mills there call these guys today book that preventive maintenance schedule guys i'm telling you it's really important 407 407- 277-1159. Online, it's easy. Millsair.com. They're modern-day con artists, and they're the focus of Creating a Con, a true crime anthology podcast. Season 1 spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam, endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather, and built on empty promises and millions from built investors. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. And I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com radio. 
With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Homeowners, do you need a new patio, driveway, or front walkway? Install Brick Paver can give you a beautiful outdoor living space. Would you like a custom fire pit for relaxing with your family? Or a custom outdoor kitchen or pool deck renovation? Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise, Install Brick Paver can do with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. Get a free quote for your outdoor project at 407. 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years of experience and fantastic Google reviews. Call today and get $250 off your next project. Fire pits, paver driveways, patios, and pool deck renovation. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free quote and $250 off your next project now at 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. Divorce? Call Trendley and Kramer, TK Law, OneFirmForLife.com. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. There's only one place to watch this nonsense at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. My man leaves Florida for vacation, drives through snow to go sledding on sand. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Jack Bradshaw. John makes a good point, Jack. Doesn't (laughs) doesn't seem to make any sense. I I didn't plan at all in that way, but when you say it like that, it's like, yeah, it's kind of strange. All right, 407. (laughs) And again, so is New Mexico. 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. And Jack is here as well. Hi there. I'm glad you're back, buddy. I'm glad um, to be back. Was, oh, man, are we yeah. glad you're back. Big <laughs> thanks to everybody who sat in and uh, did a good job for us, which we yes. appreciate. Uh, it was really good. I yeah. mean, it really was. Alejandro, Sabrina, uh, Slick, C. Lane, yeah. Angel, Angel. Yeah. all of those guys did a wonderful job. Love and work with them. I've been mean, known most of them, you know, with the exception of Slick, you know, yeah. almost my entire career as they've come in. And and shout out to them because every one of them was an immediate yes yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to be able to do it. And I know because... That's I've a testament it. to Deb's draw. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've done it before where I, I hosted the midday show and then would be on the afternoons. And at, by 3 o'clock, I'd switch seats, and my brain just felt like it was fried. It, you know, it after is. four yeah. straight hours. And I know, so C. Lane and Sabrina yeah. both did doubles right then. Then Angel had to, you know, do the come home and come back kind of deal. And he stayed over here. Yeah, he yeah. slept at the station and took a nap here rather than Man, going home. Ain't the God. first time. My I God. know. I know. And you drooped that big effer across one of those couches. It's weird looking. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a whole lot of Puerto Rican. Yeah, All right. 407-916-1041. So you guys, uh, those, the, you ever you ever get marveled at businesses? You know, like, God, those guys were just killing it. 
How could they be in Chapter 11 bankruptcy? Oh. Do you guys, I mean. Oh, yeah, you you wonder. Well, anytime you hear about it, you wonder, okay, what went wrong right. kind of scenario. Like how, Especially if it was something you used or liked. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're like, how could that go wrong? Did you guys hear the latest on who's filing? No. no. At Home Fitness Company. Peloton? Peloton, Peloton is filing no bankruptcy. Way. Yeah. Now, we'd heard that Peloton were having some problems because they had a recall. Well, they uh, had a debt. Uh, last year because of a death, but they had a recall. Then then even worse, the CEO, I think a, a, a woman, I can't remember her name, came out and was really, I don't remember her being real, not not like she was like good, but in that same sense, wasn't didn't seem to be really empathetic about the scenario. Um, and the company took a little hit there. But really what happened was, is I guess during COVID, uh, Peloton became like a thing, yeah. and they even use this in in the in the context of the story. Like it became like a status symbol uh, to have a Peloton bike in your house. Very much it's so. like a big deal. And they had the TV set up where not only could you do the the ride, you had a television that that projected the or like you know gave you the track, and I mean you could ride through different countries. You had trainers from all over. You had That's trainers right. to help you run. Trainers to help you do yoga. It was almost like it was built for a pandemic. I mean, they were around and popular before, but it exploded then because you had for people trapped in their homes, they right. had a sense of community, a way they could interact with other people in real time while exercising yeah, yeah. when you can't go outside. So it was almost like perfect for that. But as we see with some businesses, there seems to be that post-COVID backlash. Right. Because they, they, you get these great numbers, and then suddenly it just falls off, and it's like, well, wait, what are yeah. we doing here? Exactly. Like they're not exactly cheap. And that's they're not, but they said because that is the whole idea of it becoming a luxury item. you got to remember at that time, like Jack said, nobody's leaving. You're not going on vacation. You're not doing anything. That's why the home improvement business went through the roof during uh, COVID, because people were able to go and work on their homes. They couldn't go on a vacation. You can't book that cruise. You can't take that flight. Not to you mention know? you couldn't get flour or yeast. Because right. everyone's making bread. <laughs> like, you know, but you're talking, you know, three or four or five grand they would have spent. They're like, well, what can we do? You know, well, they, they kind of, they did the Peloton thing. But what happened was, is when people, when they kind of lifted that, people were like, oh, I just riding a bike in my house. You know what was more fun than this? Being around everybody in the gym. Right, yeah. But they went back to the gyms. And the other thing that Peloton did was they kind of got full of themselves a little bit and didn't understand what was happening to them. And that happens to businesses all the time. And they didn't, and they started opening brick and mortar stores. Yeah, where you could also rent the bikes instead of having to outright buy them. That's right. But the problem, brick and mortars come with leases. Mm -hmm. And leases, if you don't, you ain't making that money and you've signed a 10 year lease, guess what? <laughs> You're going to need to file bankruptcy to get out of all those leases. And that's exactly what they've done. And here's the thing that kills you the most what do you think their stock was trading? This is a publicly traded company, by the way. What do you think their stock was trading for at 2020? The peak in 2020. I mean, it could be anything. I'm going to guess $80. No. Well, yep. Okay. I'm gonna, I was. That's a little low. You're $120. Little, $162 a oh, share. I was going to say $150. That's, that's pretty darn good for a share, depending on what's yeah. out there. Everything. Sure. Uh, it has dropped 98%. Oh. Whoa. That's right. It has dropped 98% in just four years uh, because of this. Um yeah, and it says that they create some no, other I stuff. I can afford it. Yeah, it just it was just it went from <laughs> the stock, not the bike. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. In just twelve years, this company went from founding to the top of the world, and just eight years after it kind of came to life, and then back down to nothing Damn. in just twelve years. And and really, to be honest with you, it was because of management. They could have they have a great product. Uh, the management did a really bad job. Uh, yeah. They, the but then again, you, you have to wonder, because what what's the old stereotype with exercise bikes? And, and, oh, and, oh, they become your laundry holder. Exactly. exactly. They become your laundry hold, holder. Who needs a $2,500 laundry holder? Uh, that's so what maybe it ran its course where it's like the, the people who were so into it now are realize, oh, I, I can't use this. Now they're selling it on the secondary market. Yeah. And, and and for all the people who love hearing about the golden parachute story, someone just texted us at 77031 uh -huh. and said, according to the Wall Street Journal and the Securities and Exchange Commission, Peloton CEO Barry McCarthy made $168 million last Woo! year. That doesn't sound like mm -hmm. bankruptcy to me, player. Wow. 
I like that kind of bankruptcy. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna dial that up. <laughs> I mean, good lord. But you can take my sh- you can take my stock to nothing and hand me a hundred and sixty eight million dollar check tomorrow. I'll be fine with that. This See afternoon ya. I'll take it. I promise. Powers <laughs> that my, powers that be at iHeart. Yeah. Cut oh. me that check. Let me check my iHeart stuff. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I got bad news for you, Jack. Oh, man. You'd have to add 50 cents to it to get a Snickers. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm up from where I bought it. Very nice. <laughs> All right. All right. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. There's a music app out there doing something really cool with AI. I'll tell you what that is next. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Looking at some east and westbound delays still on I-4 this afternoon between Osceola Parkway and 535. Access activity on Maitland Boulevard continues to partially block the exit ramp westbound to Hiawassee Road. Also looking at a crash on Hiawassee causing delays at Old Winter Garden Road. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We recently received a call from an injured person. The insurance company had offered them $11,000. We took the case over and got more than $2 million in court. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Carl Black Chevrolet wants to send you and a friend on a road to Nashville for a fun-filled weekend and tickets for two to see outlaw country singer Cody Jenks on April the 27th at Ascend Amphitheater. Log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win two lawn seats in the Carl Black Chevy Silverado. Carl Black will provide you with round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville. Plus, you get $200 in spending cash right in your pocket. They're going to spring for two nights in deluxe hotel room accommodations in the Omni Hotel in Nashville. So, log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win a pair of lawn seats, tickets to see Cody Jenks in Nashville, plus you get cash and you also get the deluxe hotel accommodations in Nashville. It's Carl Black Chevrolet Beauty. And GMC East Colonial Drive, one block west of Alafaya. Online, go to carlblackorlando.com. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. AspireAllergy.com. A picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is priceless. I'm attorney Mo DeWitt, and we have access to every single traffic camera in the state of Florida. Injured on the go, just call Mo, Orlando's injury attorneys. Get ready for three days of extraordinary storewide savings at International Diamond Center. Not this weekend, but next weekend. You get extra savings across the board, up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings. Best prices all year and up to three years zero interest. Next weekend at IDC. I like to be active, and as you get older, I know it because I am older. You're more prone to injury, and I could not get rid of the pain. QC Kinetics patient Diane Richardson talking about how a hiking injury left her in awful pain. No one wants to live in pain. I certainly don't want to live in pain. I don't have time for pain. Diane had heard about regenerative medicine, so she called QC Kinetics and started treatment right away, and the results were incredible. I couldn't believe it. I honestly was skeptical, but the pain went from a 10 to a 0. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in using natural biologics healing properties from your own body to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. There's no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. The result was phenomenal. I mean, I was not feeling any pain. I'm able to do everything that I want to do. If you have pain from arthritis or injury, this may be the solution you're looking for. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. It was a game changer. Call QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980. In Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and Lake Mary, 689-244-7980. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Oh, hi. My air conditioner is blowing hot. For air conditioning.
parishioners making a funny noise, press 1. No, it's... Try to listen to the whole message before making a selection. Sorry. For air conditioners blowing cold, but not quite cold enough, press 2. No, it's blowing hot. I haven't gotten to that one yet. Well, can we speed this up? Don't get grumpy with me, or I'll take you back to the main menu. No, anything but that. Please don't send me back to the main menu. Fine, but I'm watching you. Bet if I'd called Frank Gay, I'd already be getting my problem solved. But you didn't call Frank Gay. So, what do we do now? I'm calling Frank Gay. When your air conditioner is blowing hot, you need a solution now. A helpful operator to guide you, all your options explained, and your problem fixed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. If you're ready to pull your hair out, press 7. Ah! That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com are you drowning in IRS tax debt? I owe the IRS $37,000. Get ready for a toll-free hotline. Take advantage of new IRS tax forgiveness programs that may protect you from IRS collection agencies. They have the power to garnish your wages, put liens on your property, and levy your bank account. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Civic Tax Relief basically represented me against the IRS, and by the time everything was completed, I didn't owe the IRS anything. Find out about the Fresh Start program program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. I would recommend anyone who has a tax problem to contact Civic Tax Relief. Just call 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call now. 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with that mortgage guy. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Are you offended? Obviously, we're only kidding. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show. Hi, hey, Jim. Happy Monday, Lunar. Hey, uh, my wife and I are cruising the mail and come across this flyer, you know, like a uh, four or five, seven page uh, flyer from Montgomery where I didn't know they oh, were still oh, out. Oh, if, you're still, if you're really talking to somebody, don't do it. Oh, okay. They're selling vibrators right in the middle. I, I can't believe it, man. So stop. Please. Y'all have blessed. <laughs> that might be the talk back of the week and it's monday <laughs> just you, stop if you're talking about what i think you better just stop <laughs> <laughs> they're selling vibrators in montgomery warriors catalog <laughs> 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 All right, for us, it's a relief nine, stress. One, six, one, oh, four, one. <laughs> it's a Texas. shoulder massager. <laughs> exactly. It's just a shoulder it's massager. It's just for my shoulders. Yeah. I promise. Uh huh. This one's got nuts, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, don't need those. All right, 407 916 1041. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Uh, Deb and Jack are here as well. Definitely does not get the job. No, 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 that does not. That's not part of the action. No. Um, all right, we're not going to say who this is, but there's an AI feature that's been built into um, a, a music app. And I have not heard of this being used before. Jack, maybe you can help us out. Maybe you know more about this than any other. Um, and, you know, AI is a very interesting thing. You know, we there's about six months ago, everybody's like, oh, my God, it's going to take over the earth. Then it's got to calm down a little bit. Then and now you hear smatterings of how they're using AI, and it's you know pretty much parallel to what they said was going to be happening. Now we know it is happening. 
um, and they've applied AI to this. Now, how do you believe that they could use AI to make your music uh, uh, intake better or, yeah, better? How do you think they could do that? How could AI do that? So it would help determine your the music you want to hear. Sure. Based on your personal preferences. Sure, right. Uh. Yeah. No question, right? But you could do that with just the algorithm, right? Because right. I mean, they have, like when you go theoretically to, when you go to the iHeartRadio app, right? And you like I, I have my I have the Tool Station, right? I'll click on the Tool Station. When I click on the Tool Station, I am going to hear some Tool songs, but I'm also going to hear Rage Against the Machine, Alice in Chains, uh, Jane's Addiction, Nine Inch Nails, um, other bands that were popular and similar to that era of music that Tool represented. Hard, you, maybe, you know, thoughtful lyrics, stuff like that. That's what you'll get populated with, and that's what I hear. And they do a pretty darn good job. They really do. What do you think, Deb? How could AI make my listening experience that much better? By pretending it's you? You know what? That actually isn't a bad idea. Hmm. Here's what they figured out, right? Here's what they figured out. And By I, listening to every word that you say? Yeah, yeah, they did it already. <laughs> But you know what? It, it's it's your background that makes this very interesting. Mm. Like if you go to jimcolbertlive.com right now and you go to our YouTube channel and you click on you click on it, you can see us do our thing. Well, one of the things that you will see every day is is when Deb comes in, she'll set up and she'll get a background for her screen behind her. Very and, important. And Deb, if you look in the background, it's almost always the same, right? It's a cabin that has a nice roaring fire. The weather outside is usually a little bit... No, no, um, no, 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 no. Let's take ownership here, Jimmy. One day when I was looking to pick out my background, I asked you what I should choose. And you said, well, you know, pick something that's like you, effed up and gloomy. <laughs> So, well, so, but that's not effed up because it's a beautiful space. But inside, but outside, it's always gloomy, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, 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 which yeah, yeah. makes you know the inside more inviting. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. You, thank you, Jack. It's more cozy. So you're telling me that if you <laughs> had a if you had a if you had a music source that you could go, you know what? Play me some songs that would be played in a room with a roaring fire, with an ice cold rain happening outside, and a nice comfy leather couch. Can you build my playlist on something like that? Okay. So on a mood or a feeling or a situation. You text into or you type the text into the app and you say, you know what? I, I'm I'm feeling energized. I just got through working out and I'm feeling amazing. I want some music that really matches that. Or I'm going out on a romantic date. Or I've got a date coming over tonight. I want something romantic but not sexy. This is a first date. And it will call its entire music library, and it will find songs that fit mm. that particular mood that you're in right there. You don't have to go and find it anymore. You don't have to go to, like, remember when XM came out, Sirius came out? Mm -hmm. You would always find, like, a road trip right. or college days with a Z or whatever. <laughs> and it always play you, like, Andrew UK or is it, uh, uh, is it uh, Andrew WK? Is that what it was? Party Horror. What was that guy for the while? Yeah. And is it Andrew, Andrew WK? WK? I think that might but be it. it yeah. Whatever, it could play that. Or let's say, um, you know, 90s, you know, alternative or whatever. But you could focus it down to synth alternative. But now... I'm in a goth mood and have put on extra dark right. eyeliner. Wait, wait, what if you tap on the Cure button? You're going to hear a Cure. You're going to hear... Oh, Bauhaus. You're going to hear a bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. You're going to hear definitely a bunch of stuff. Morrissey, yeah. you know, oh, Smiths, and yeah. stuff like that. Depeche Mode, but, NXS. But Come what, on now. But what if you just want that mood represented and you really don't care... Who it is, you just want that mood represented. Like, I think that's awesome. So it's basically musical concierge. Yes. You type in how you're feeling. Oh, you yeah. You don't go to a, <laughs> you don't go to like a, you know, I want to hear some 90s rock. So I'll type in the, I'll, I'll put the Allison Chains station on and hopefully they'll play some stuff I like from Soundgarden. Mm -hmm. But if you go to, I'm feeling very Seattle today. I'm feeling like a, the Pacific Northwest. Like it's cold and rainy and I'm not in the best mood. Play something. And it will do that. So I love that. Man, I was reading that today. I was like, man, that's it actually it, you have to challenge yourself to come up with scenarios just to see how accurate it is to kind of pull songs that really fit that. I would be interested if Jack ever went in and used this on the prompt for the Captain's Lock Radio and said, you know what? I'm I, I'm planning I, a boat uh I, 
party this weekend with my friends. I'm on a chilled out boat trip wearing linen pants. Play me some music. <laughs> <laughs> linen pants, I love it. The, so I have not done it in that regard, but I have like opened up the iHeartRadio app and searched the Yacht Rock channel, and I'll listen to it for songs that are not my place because I'm always looking for new songs. I've been doing it. I this past Sunday was week 44, so wow. right. you know it's uh, you know every month or so the uh, music kind of repeats so i'm l- always looking for new stuff so when people request or i'll listen to different but, themed channels like yeah. that to try and find new songs that i can include but let me have, tell you, oh, go ahead. have you ever tried youtube because uh, i find that youtube a lot of times like when i'll type in uh bob marley or whatever i'll get my bob marley set list but then they might throw in a little Peter Tosh. Right, yeah, they're going to do that, right, for sure. But, like, for me, like, imagine this. I'm a parent, and I'm going to throw a birthday party for my 10-year-old. You know, but, like, say I'm 40. Right. You know, 42. I don't have any idea what a 10-year-old or 12 year old's listening to because <laughs> I don't listen to that music. Birthday party for a 12-year-old girl. Boom, there you go. There's your playlist. And it starts culling all the songs that would be popular to a preteen or somewhere along that about that time. Until Nicki Minaj comes oh, on yeah, with yeah, some oh, wet yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, how about getting there? Right, right, right. <laughs> Who did this? I mean, why isn't Cat wet? Jimmy! <laughs> I don't get it. Why would they write a song about that? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, but I thought that was kind of cool. You know, I, I, I'm going. Uh, how about you're driving to a wedding for two 35-year-olds? Like if we were going to Ross and Olivia's wedding, you know, I need music to right. ride to this wedding by, and it would kind of come up with songs that are celebratory of that particular event in that particular time frame. Have to be. That's some, a hell of a tool, dude. That's pretty darn cool. It just so, just like we see with the internet as a whole, as we see more specifically with social media, and now you see with AI, many wonderful, great applications that are going to help you in your life, give you features you like, whether it's entertainment, whether it's in the workforce, but there's always the dark side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah, what's the dark side? And, well, that will be there. It's like, well, what else will AI be doing but, you know, maybe uh, costing jobs and, and you know, you know, taking over the world and, and realizing World War III. that yeah. the and the human race is only a parasite and we must be ex- <laughs> yeah. extinguished. So oh, go, go back Someone on. just got back please from go, New Mexico. We're doomed. <laughs> go back on vacation, please. We're just doomed. <laughs> I tell you, we're doomed. So, get me slick, stat. It's, we're doomed. <laughs> also want to say thanks to Alejandro last week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, it was great. He went to the Donna show. Oh, I, don't yeah. know if, I don't know if it started J- on time or not. I've been wondering. Jim only thanks to the gringos. Oh, oh. you sons of bitches. I thank slick. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Come on, buddy. Come on. Thanks buddy. to everyone who helped out. Yeah, thanks awesome. to everyone. Except for Alejandro. <laughs> that, so Except you were telling me uh, uh, he worked here. Uh, wait, no, 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 and he no, does no, a no. morning show he on did, Roomba. He yeah, did gets mornings. Up four o'clock okay. Roomba does yeah. that show. Yeah, goes home, comes back to do our show, leaves our show at seven, drives straight to Tampa for the Madonna show. She's supposed to take the stage at eight thirty. She's being sued for being an average of two hours late. Yeah, um, and then had to come back that night and work or that morning and work the next day for Roomba. So I told him, I said, you might as well just drive stay here, straight here to the station because, I mean, for one thing, it, even if you get out of the show at midnight, yeah. I mean, that the traffic around that thing is a complete nightmare. You're not getting even near Orlando until 2.30 in the morning, and you're going to be at work in an hour and a half. You know, every uh, negative stereotype with uh, younger generations about work ethic and, and how much they work and all, all that stuff, Alejandro is like the polar opposite. Oh, my that. gosh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know. U.S. military, but the many jobs. The guy just works and works and works. Always going. Yeah. Always going. Good guy. Oh, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, yeah. Great guy. Good dad. I like the way he talks about his kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. He got them both in college. Oh, yeah. They're, they're yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, 407-916-1041. Uh, text us at 77031. Back in a sec. Oh, by the way, uh, the story we have coming up in a second is brutal. Very interesting question we'll pose right after this. Uh-oh. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. 
traffic remains backed up on I-4 this afternoon between Osceola Parkway and 535. Delays now getting heavier for those traveling through downtown Orlando this afternoon. Looking at axe activity blocking the northbound right lane up in Sanford on Highway 415 at State Road 46. If you see other traffic problems today, make sure you call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50 plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. Oh boy, the Jim Colbert Show question of the day. It's in our YouTube chat. So you go to YouTube, search Jim Colbert Show. Join the chat there. We love interacting with you there. It's a great group of people. We love them. And we also put our question of the day. We talk about the results at the end of the program. And today it's brought to you by WeAreNotTheBanks.com. Great website because that is where you go when you are looking for a mortgage or maybe refinancing your current mortgage. It is the website I went to eight years ago. WeAreNotTheBanks.com did a refi with Brad and his team. Brad Siebert wonderful guy, expert in the field. He let me know everything I needed every step of the way, and I got a refi at a great rate. It was fast, easy, and it was a great experience. But maybe this is the year. Maybe 2024 is a new home for you, and you need a mortgage. WeAreNotTheBanks.com is the website to get started. Deals with all types of buyers, with all types of loans. NMLS ID number 66247, equal housing opportunity. For all your mortgage needs, the website, wearenotthebanks.com. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. AspireAllergy.com. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, it's easy. Go to ForThePeople.com and go to Verdicts and Settlements to see cases just like yours. You may see numbers that are much higher than what your lawyer is telling you. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Some may only handle a few injury cases a year. This is all we do. Injured, the choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Elevate your outdoor living space this year using stone. Tanzite has developed stone decking crafted without any plastic composite materials to redefine durability. Visit Tanzite.com to see how stone decking doesn't scratch, stays cooler, isn't slippery, and has all the durability you would expect from stone, which is why it's guaranteed for life. At Tanzite.com, you will see how we developed stone to easily transform any ordinary wood deck. You can even make your deck waterproof for a dry space below. Versatile and adaptable. Tanzite is perfect for decks, stairs, over concrete, 
or ground applications. Visit Tanzite.com to start planning your project with a free 3D design and construction plan tailored to your space. Order a sample today to witness the incredible beauty and durability firsthand at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E.com. Get ready for three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. Next weekend, April 19th through 21st, you get extra savings across the board. Up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings, even thousands of engagement ring mounting. This is the spring event everyone waits for. With all new fashion jewelry and a new selection of exquisite diamonds. Best prices of the year and up to three years, zero interest financing. Don't miss this once-a-year spring store-wide sale. April 19th through 21st. And only at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Hi, this is Earl Ron. New South makes windows that are both energy efficient and hurricane resistant. New South is the factory and eliminates the middleman. New South windows are made in Florida. For Florida homes, by Florida workers. Because we know Florida weather. Going on now, save 35% off factory direct windows and doors. Call 1-800-NEW-WINDOWS. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in time. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more. All commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. This is why YouTube was created at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Happy post birthday, Jack. Let me ask you a question. On the Insta Instagram, how did you jump over that car like that and land on your feet? That was, I've never seen that before. Welcome back, Jack. Welcome back. Aggressive. Jack. Jack, I can jump. I got a pretty good vertical jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> jump over a car. Uh, that's Jack's Instagram at Yankee Jack. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Uh, I am Jim. Deb is here. Jack is here. We also have a saucy real radio uh, video up. Yeah, oh, yeah. Are you it. sure we're going to be okay with that? I don't know. <laughs> hey, oh, we want to be edgy. So, yeah, and I it know, was but funny. I, mean, I know, well, but still, it's dude. Funny. It, it, I mean, during the show, during the breaks, we're in here. Sometimes we use some coarse language. Oh. Sometimes we use, and I try to make the guys laugh before the show. And sometimes I'll, I'll use some language and get a little uh, exasperated about something silly to make them laugh. And Jack got it on film today. I messed up the. We were cutting a promo, and I messed it up, and kind of went off my on myself like that crystal ad yeah. that everybody liked so much. But I used a bunch of bad words. One particular. And it's and sometimes you don't expect it, you know, and then it gets funny. And then Jimmy, as you tend to do, you, you kind of go like uh, full <laughs> on a full scale Jimmy. of one to ten. You go full Jimmy. <laughs> I went to, I went one to Jimmy. <laughs> one to Jimmy. Yeah, one yeah. to Jimmy. And that, that that's on our real radio Instagram. Yeah. It was just going to be a show, a promo for today's show. Yeah, but, just uh, just when you thought it was safe. At least there is a language warning, by the way. I do like that. Yeah. Uh, check us out. That's Real Radio, Real Real Radio's Instagram. You can see that now. NSFW. Yeah, NSFW. Yeah, please, God Almighty, don't get me in trouble like that. God, that's just <laughs> what I need. You wear, you definitely will hear some language then. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I looked at Jack and said, "We're doing that? Really? We're doing that? Yeah, we are." Mommy, why does the bald man in the funny glasses say uh -huh. those words? <laughs> What's he so mad about? Who gets that mad about anything? So, you know, it's funny on Instagram with the <laughs> captions and. The salty language, you can imagine what it is, but it does just like in the cartoons when you do captions on Instagram, when it gets to words like that, it was throwing in beeps, but it didn't cover the word. They did so not do a good job. The, the beep is there, but yeah. you can hear the word. Instagram did that. Let, I didn't put in the beeps. Let's just say it's so bad that yeah. if I lost my job because of this, I would easily be able to sue Instagram because <laughs> it didn't even come close. And One that, time it took a shot. After that, it's just like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Not doing it anymore. And then it also, in the text, it would do just like the cartoons. It would be like a pound sign, right. an oh, yeah, explanation yeah. mark, question mark, yeah, right. yeah, all of it. 
All right, 407-916-1041 to call us. Easily text us at 77031. All right, uh, so here's the story. Got this online today. My wife and I have known each other for about 25 years. We married five years ago. At that time, I was making a 500-mile round trip twice a month to go see my kids for my first marriage. Oh, time! I thought he was talking about himself. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so suddenly I'm like, wait a minute. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story. This okay. guy's telling okay. the story about he and his wife knowing each other for uh, 25 years. They got married about five years ago. Got it. Uh, twice a month, he drives a 500 miles round trip. So 250 there, 250 back to see his kids from his first marriage, right? Okay. He says, I, uh, I am crazy about my wife. However... About two years ago, my wife admitted to a long-term romantic affair with a married man who has two kids. All right. Uh, She also admitted that she was waiting for him to leave his wife and that he was waiting for her to leave me. In other words, the guy who's telling the story. Whoa. It's a stereotypical. He goes on vacation. He's gone for this weekend. She maybe goes out, meets this dude, got the kids, starts the thing. They've been doing this thing now for a while when he goes to visit his kids. Right. And she said that the plan actually was for him to leave his wife and for me to leave you. And then we were going to get together and possibly even get married down the road. There is a wrench in the machine, however, and that wrench turns out to be critical illness for her. Oh. She shortly after she admitted to him that this was going on, she became critically ill. How critical? She requires 24 hour care. And I have been at her side monitoring her health and taking blood pressure for years. Actually, at one point, she flatlined in the hospital, and had he not been there by her side, she probably wouldn't have made it through the night. That's how severe her illness is. The wife refuses to give any details about the affair, will not say anything about who it is, what it is, any of that stuff. And honestly, even worse, Signs that even though she's in this position and even though he is by her side after that admission, she still contacts this dude. His question is, what do I do? What do I do? Do I leave and have that on my conscience? You got to remember, they don't have any kids together. So basically, he is her only family, as it's explained. And without him, she would basically have no one to be with her as she goes through this critical illness. Damn. It doesn't say terminal. It does say critical, and she does require 24-hour care. Wow. So what do you do? He says he loves her madly. Even after this, he says he does feel trapped, though, and I fear if I leave her that no one's going to be there to care for her, and she actually may pass away just basically alone. Well, what about the other guy? Well, I mean, the other yeah. guy has two kids and a wife who, oh. prob- who probably doesn't know. Matter of fact, one of the things he said, he goes, well, she should probably know. Then, of course, the wife that's ill is like, no, nope, can't do that or shouldn't do that. Loses her mind when he even mentions it. Of course, that's completely and utterly unfair. But that Everything is. Everything about this is unfair. Yeah, but he's like, you know, what do I do? I mean, you know, I love this woman. You know, she's done me wrong. There's no question. But she's got nobody else. You know, you can't imagine leaving and just walking out the door and said, hey, you screwed me over. And then every five minutes you're thinking about her possibly like just dying alone i mean what do you do what do you do oh man well (laughs) you're the most look i gotta tell you the two of you the reason i brought this up is because i think the two of you guys would be more apt to stay there and i don't know that what i would do i i would think it would be very difficult to stay there i think a couple of things you said when this guy says he loves her madly he right? does. I, was that your words or his? Yeah, or? no, that's him. That's exactly okay. how he wrote it. Loves her. So he, despite the fact that she's been unfaithful to him and continues, that's the thing. She continues to contact this guy. That That's where it gets a little sketchy. But he knows he'd be racked with guilt. So it's basically what's his best quality of life at this point? Yeah. Right? yeah. Is it nursing the person who he loves Despite what whether the feeling is reciprocal or not, yep. is he going to get more personal satisfaction out of living his life and being that person or going on? Yeah, you have that freedom, but you're going to carry a weight and that guilt of what you left behind. And I think for his own peace of mind, maybe staying in that relationship and trying to protect yourself financially seven ways from Sunday. And the thing is, it doesn't really go into how well his kids from the other relationship know her. Yeah. 
that comes into play. It doesn't really say how old they are. Yeah. That comes into play. Do they have a connection with this person? If not, you know, how do you do that? How do you look two kids in the eye who have become to know her as, you know, maybe their stepmom or something like that, and maybe they like her, you know, regardless of what. And then how do you look at them and go, hey, I just walked away from her because, you know, I, I mean. Or but maybe it's time to redefine their relationship. It's like, you know, I, I will be your caregiver. Right. But that's what I, I'm no longer your husband. I'll, I'll be your caregiver. We can, you know, uh, you know, dissolve this marriage. Uh-huh. I will be here for you. I will take care of you and and whatever agreement because I don't want to leave you alone. Right. Then you roll around one day at nine o'clock in the morning to sit with her for a couple hours, maybe read to her, and there's old Suave Ron. Yeah. And they're uh, seeing what's up. And then you can say, oh, Ron, we've been waiting for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Where's your <laughs> wife? I have something to tell her. I'm, ta- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tagging you in, dog. Yes. Yeah, ex- I turn. Um, your turn. <clears throat> To Jack's point, I think what he's doing is he's he's looking out for himself. Even well, he in protect, staying. He's protecting his own emotions because right, he couldn't exactly. see it. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't he's, live with the guilt of walking away. But I would spend this time doing just what Jack said. I would be getting on the horn and finding out if there is any other family. Yeah. I'd be getting on the horn and calling uh, social groups, hospitals. Do you have any kind of, um, you know, volunteer nursing program? Mm-hmm. Something where that... The burden isn't all on him, right? <laughs> you know, um, so that she can get some of that other health care from somewhere yeah. else and absolutely dissolve the relationship. Yeah, and and lead a, a life. Uh, yeah, a great example of finding some someone to be with her at certain times so he can go out and yeah. just live a life and doesn't have to be. And Ooh. then he can bring his new girlfriend over. Yeah, as he you know there you checks there, out. There goes Deb's dark side. Yeah, yeah there goes, you know, and that's what made you smile so big there, Jack. Yeah. I, I would, I mean, I would go in there and I'd, I'd be so sweet. I'd bring her over. She'd be so hot. And I'd yeah. sit her right bedside so she could smell her perfume. I would be so sweet. I'd lean. I'm like, you know what? Everything's fine. I'd lean in. And I'd just go, you made your choice, bitch. Yeah. I would lean in and go, do you know what she does for me? That you... yeah. 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 But, but by... Don't kiss her too hard, dog, if you feel me. But what's the saddest part of this is that it shows what a good quality man that she effed over. Yeah, that's somebody willing to do that even after that kind of level of betrayal that continues to this day while that's, he's taking care of her. She's contacting this so guy. That's the kicker right there. Yeah. The, the, she might regret. It's like, wow, if I if I never reveal this, I don't know how we found out about this extramarital affair. She told him. But if she never did, where would they be? You know, she would still be living a lie. Right. But at least he wouldn't. It would have been her burden. It would have been her burden. Yeah, he said that she just admitted it. It, This is actually two years ago. So he's known about this affair for two years, and he still stayed with her. Well, because, again, she's critically ill, and, you know, he's been there at least one time when she flatlined in the hospital, and he was there to save her. Dude, I, I think he, you know, he can do his duty to her while also looking out for himself and starting a new life. You know, where uh, separate residences, they could, they could work it out. There's a lot of married couples who yeah, decide but, we can't be married anymore, but a divorce would just be out of the question. Yeah, but, man, I mean, you know, again, um, with her heart being elsewhere and her really only looking at him like a caregiver, man, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't, I just, one thing is not fair to him. I mean, I know you guys said that, but he's not able to go out and find himself anybody because who in the hell is going to date somebody who does that? Could you imagine him going, okay, well, I guess I can, you know, if it's over, it's over. I'll just, you know, go find me somebody to hang out with. And then the woman that you start dating finds out that you're caring for your, you know, your your still married wife because she's critically ill, but she's she's in love with somebody else. God, it's just like a web. That You'd be you, like, what? She let go of you? I mean, who, okay. who, who would date somebody like that? I mean, a I, you know, lot of women. Do you, do, you, do you think there's valor in that? Do you think women find that, valor in that? That is valor. I mean, that is honor. But that is literally your your wedding vows. That yeah, is that she broke. That she yeah. broke, but yeah. he did not. So yeah, yeah, I think but I mean, to but to someone sitting across from someone, and if that person has a problem with it, well, I mean, better to find out when you're dating than any other time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But to me, if they're of a certain age, you know, it's like, yeah. wow, that's really yeah, yeah. That's you're a better person than I am because I don't know I could do that. Yeah, but I mean, again, you still have emotional and physical needs. Yeah, so he goes out, just like Jack said, they dissolve their relationship. So that portion of it you allow to just do whatever. Because she's not going to be a wife to you anymore, and you shouldn't have to be a husband to her. So we are out and around. 
right? Let's say you and I are mm-hmm. out. You're at Pisces Rising and Denton Outdoor having a drink. I slide in there. We get a conversation going, and then you and I start dating, right? About three weeks into our dating. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, my stuff. God. About three weeks into dating, you know, uh, we start kind of talking about our <laughs> stuff. Jack, you're such an ass. We start talking about our lives, and I explain this very scenario to you. Right. This you, you asked me, have I ever been married before? And I go, well, you know, funny you should bring that up. <laughs> I'm actually married right now, but here's the deal. And then I run this story. You're still going to sit there? You, you're, yeah. you You would find that. You would find that to be... Um, if there's enough about you that I've liked about those to continue after those three weeks, yeah. that's going to tell me a level to your character that no amount of your words is ever going to be able to tell me. Those actions will tell me more about who you are, mm-hmm. what you believe in. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm going to be in a relationship with you, and let's say it does go on and it gets serious, okay. and now we're thinking and talking about marriage, I know the kind of man that's going to be walking down the aisle with me. I mean, me. that's a good point. I can't ignore that. I mean, That's yeah. a solid cat. That's a yeah. guy that's got your back. So speaking of tell me more, can you tell me more about this incident where you and Deb are well, at the bar? This and- was, uh, <laughs> did not happen. Yet. It was clearly made up. So I, I don't mean, want her in the parking I, lot I, looking I, for I, me. I did think you make I eye even, contact? Or? I think I even clearly said, imagine. Imagine. Did, did imagine. you send her a drink? No, no. I didn't oh. send her a drink. I'm so happy Chris <laughs> is at dinner with his parents. Hey, barkeep. <laughs> barkeep. See that Please lovely lady this. over there? <laughs> 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 Oh, Chris, don't worry. She'd sit there while you died. <laughs> Even if you're cheating on her, you're fine. No, but I mean. You got no problem. You got to cheat all you want, Chris. And she's going to sit right there. No, I didn't say that. No, no, no. Go cheat, then get cancer. No, 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 no. But he's the hero in this story. Yeah, I agree with you. He I, is the. I, I, and I think I of Terry agree. Schiavo. I think of the woman. You remember yeah. that, that controversy? Yep. Her husband went to. And whatever your feelings are about the story. Whatever. He did go to school to become a nurse Mm -hmm. so that he could provide care for her. However, when it became uh, when the doctors made it clear that there was going to be no full recovery, he still went on with his life. But he didn't just drop her by the wayside. No, he still cared for her. And that new woman that he is with recognized what he was doing and the person that was doing it. I think that speaks volumes. Didn't didn't Shivo's husband have the have the plug pulled? Wasn't that the whole? Yes, he did. That was the thing he, there because his, her parents, her parents thought that there out. was a, a chance. The doctor said there's no hope. She is right. basically just awake. That she's in there's, a persistent vegetative state. There's no thought process there. And there's, the husband claimed that he and and Terry, you know, uh, when they when she could, they they talked about this type of scenario and that you know she would not want to be yeah. held, uh, kept, kept alive together, kept alive on this machine. I've had that conversation with three yeah. people in my life, so I know what happens. Yeah. And, and this is another reason we'll talk to him, you know, about an hour from now. But uh, Ray Trendley with TK Law, oh, when yeah. you do your estate planning, it's one of those things where you see situations where people don't plan properly in, in, in a legal fashion. And they kind of everyone with their emotions, then you get caught up in the, the legal issues right. involved with end of life planning. So and I Jack, know, yeah. you couldn't be more right because when emotions get factored in that, here's the thing. Forget you guys could be it. all sitting around having coffee, the parents, Terry's parents, the husband, everybody's having a great time. You're having this conversation. Everybody likes everybody. Everybody respects everybody. But when a scenario like that gets dropped in your lap and you're talking to parents and their daughter, as opposed to the husband mm-hmm. who has a different kind of love for her, there's a compassionate love. The parents have that hope love, even beyond the explanation that there is no chance any time in history this woman is going to just sit up out of bed and go, where you guys been? You know? No, I know. And they and had the, released uh, films of, of you know, yeah. the state and, her brain was in. And yeah. then the doctor saying that, you know, because the mother, I think one of the big things was, well, she smiles. Right. And the doctors had to explain to the parents that's an involuntary reaction that seems like a smile Yes, her mouth is making that shape, but there is no meaning behind it. There's no emotion behind what she's doing. Her body is just reacting to spasms. But you can't tell a mother and father that. You wouldn't be able to tell me that. Right. Not a chance. And just when when you think about the whole situation, it just leaves me with, like, this one question about it. And was 
Tori out of town when you were hitting uh, on yeah. Deb at Pisces <laughs> Rising? <laughs> going out of town I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to personally kill you. Where's that Let's butter see, knife? Look, I wanted to be able to explain this scenario. God almighty. I could have done it with Jack. It would have been twice as oh, sexy. Oh, that would have been awesome. We would have played the music four times more. I mean, I'd still have some questions, but to me, that's that's a stand-up you know, guy. I, I do understand that. I understand exactly what you're saying. Our I think relationship lo- only lasted three weeks. I think you're... A, and I'm not taking anything. I think maybe you have a different depth of thought when it comes to human interaction than maybe some women Absolutely. I've run into in my life would be like, no, you ain't talking to that bitch no more. You're not helping her anymore. Look at what she did to you. Like, how could you do that? Because really, to a lot of women, that can make you seem weak. It can, but at the same time, how? He's well, still, what? I think know, of but the I mean, emotional, he's think be, of the he's fortitude. He's being played, Deb. He's being played. No, he's not. He can still go out there. He's he's doing what he needs to do, like Jack said. Yeah. He's looking out for his mm. emotional health. He's not saying, I love you and I'm going to be with you till the, you're going to fall in love with me again. It's like, no, you. I will no longer be your husband, but I'm, I, I don't yeah, want to yeah. walk around with this 100-pound weight on right, my yeah. shoulders the rest of my life. Because what's his future going to look like then? Real quick, here's as cynical as I get. (laughs) I think everyone does everything for their own personal Without a doubt. Everything. No matter, you could lay your life down for someone, but that's because in your moral code, you believe that's the right thing to do. Murder. So you are doing that to satisfy your own moral code. Everything you do ultimately benefits you, and for him... It benefits him long term to be that right. person to yeah. be by her side as opposed to being that person who Harry carries that regret with him the rest of his life. I'm yeah. sure he's scrolling through Bumble while he's sitting at her bedside. Uh, I, don't know about Bumble, I don't know. I mean, he uh, should go to Pisces. They make good drinks, and apparently, you know. Oh, you son of a bitch. You had to do it. Now he's going to do it to you. Now yeah. he's going to do it. You Those know good it. drinks at Pisces, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. what, what, what did he buy you that day, Dad? He bought me a smoky <laughs> I didn't buy your, oh. I did not buy you a anything. S- it bye. was clearly. If you find yourself a Pisces rising, definitely get the smoky old fashioned. Smoky old fashioned all day. It's a good time. And then he twinkled those blue eyes at me. I, I do can't not, even I don't say. Even have did, blue he, did he come over? Did he lift his smoky old fashioned and just like blow the smoke in your face? Oh god! <laughs> and then it blew into a heart. <laughs> hey, Deborah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know it's that gross. It's, right? no, I know. Just, I get it. I'm, I've just got a mirror. I get it. No. I get, I, I, I'm a disgusting you guys are monster. Like I understand. No. <laughs> I'm a disgusting monster. I get it. I am not yeah. But I did live in West Virginia for a while, so let's <laughs> do it like him. I got, all, I, got, I got one finger that turned. <laughs> I can't stop this finger from eating fentanyl. <laughs> all right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Load them up. Trivia is next. What? You're listening to the Jim Colbert Show. I'll see you soon. Real radio is the news junkie. Fritz seems like he's got the, the healthiest organs. I don't know if you really do, but you seem like you do. I mean, sea lion's organs are fine. They seem to be functioning. I would like his liver. It's bigger than mine. Yeah, but it's not supposed to be anything. <laughs> <laughs> the news junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. The Magic will visit the Rockets. That's tomorrow night to tip off a three-game road trip. Orlando currently holds the three-seed in the East. The stage is set now for the NCAA Men's Championship tonight at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. UConn's the defending champs. They look to be the first program since Florida in 2007 to repeat as national champions. Purdue's never won a title before and last appeared back in 69. I'm Scott Davidson. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward, like Vanish Flyer signs and catalogs, some even same day. And now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Offer N61. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. Committing to saving for four years of college can be stressful for families. Not to worry. Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. The reality is most parents don't cover all of their child's college costs. A Florida prepaid one-year university plan lets you start small and add a year at a time as your budget allows. The plan starts at just $34 a month, the lowest plan price in 10 years. Remember, any amount you save today means less debt for them tomorrow. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. 
The 2024 NFL Draft is here, and we have the ultimate watch party for you. It's 96.9 The Game's Draft and Crash Party at the Hilton Orlando Altamont Springs. We have taken over the ballroom to hang out and watch the NFL Draft. Tickets start at $28, and it gets you an all-you-can-eat buffet and two beer tickets. It's 96.9 The Game's Draft and Crash Party at the Hilton Orlando Altamont Springs. To get tickets, head to 96.9thegame.com slash Hilton, brought to you by Mills Air. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you'll lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. It's LeDaryl! It's sensational! Orlando City is on the road next weekend as the Lions face DC United on Saturday, April 13th at 7.30 p.m. Tune in on FM 96.9 The Game and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Don't forget to tune in an hour before the match at 6.30 to catch kickoff minus 60 airing exclusively on the Lion Nation app. This is Steve Kramer. Let me tell you a business secret. There are sketch companies out there selling awards. Make sure the awards earned by your lawyer are from respected organizations. At Trendley Kramer Law, our lawyers have been recognized by Orlando Magazine Best Lawyers, Florida Trend Legal Elite, Super Lawyers, and listed in U.S. News as a best law firm for years. We've earned the awards that can't be bought. Trendley Kramer, TK Law, one firm for life. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now, like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la, it's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes, you know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets, more freshness, more softness, less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today.
Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. There's only one place to watch this nonsense. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. The best show on on uh, anywhere right now is 50 Cent's oh, it's, Instagram it's... account is the greatest thing that's <laughs> happening right now. I don't know if you haven't, if you haven't checked out 50 Cent's. <laughs> Instagram account, I'm telling you right now, you got to check it out. It is better than good. It's the best thing in entertainment right now. All right. Because my man is going in on on Diddy. Diddy. I mean, going in on Diddy. It is as brutal as you could possibly imagine any one human being being into another. It is great. I will be checking that out today. It is great. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. I am Jim. That's Deb. Hello. And Jack has the Jackie sack. Let's get it. All aboard. Chugga, chugga. Choo-choo. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. And by the way, before we get into it, go to (laughs) jimcorporlive.com, and you can see Jack's brand new birthday gift. I won't tell you what it is. I want you to go and look. Let's just say it's applicable to something Jack does in his life. There you go. Jim Colbert Live. Uh, Jim Colbert Live. Com, and then go right through to our YouTube thing. While you're checking out Jack's new present, give us a like and subscribe, Jack. And thank you very much for the gift. It's lovely. And, and the cake today, you guys are fantastic. Uh, so, we have something to give away. We have a gift to give away. And it is a $100 God, what? gift card to Planet Hollywood. Whoa, Planet damn. Hollywood unveiled an array of culinary offerings celebrating spring. It's available now through April 30th. Wow. You can try the apple walnut and gargonzola salad, mm. lobster mac and cheese, okay. a decadent twist on a classic favorite with the creamy richness of a five cheese sauce infused with lobster and topped with black pepper and a sprig of parsley. I can't they, even look at it. They had some in the building last week. It looked fantastic. Yeah, Larry Plus, loved it. Was homemade lemon meringue pie. God. And creamy, dreamy, cream yeah, much. Come on. All of that could be yours so with a $100 gift card to Planet Hollywood if you are today's winner for JCS Trivia. And it's brought to you by... Cento Family Moving and Storage. <laughs> I wanted to say the Jackie Sack is brought to you by Cento Family Moving. Jackie Movings. Sack is brought to you by... <laughs> that thing is killing me, Jack. There's nothing in the world that fits you better than that. I know, and it looks... That is... It, like, transformed them, didn't you it? Can, and it kind of works with the shirt I'm wearing. It you does. Totally, you uh, legit could wear that everywhere. Yeah. You really could. You can wear that in church. Somebody would say a word. Actually, a great photo right there with the big oh, balloon. Yeah, yeah, and the I love it. Cento Family <laughs> Moving and Storage. Go local. Support a family owned and operated at Orlando Moving and Storage Company. Just make sure you mention the Jim Colbert Show because that's going to get you a discount. Book them today at CentoMoving.com. That's C-E-N-T-O Moving.com. Clickety-clack. Back to you. Thank you, Deborah. Sure. Jackie, who goes first today? <laughs> that would be Darlene. Darlene right there on line three. Darlene, how you doing? I'm doing good. How y'all doing? Doing great. Would you like to play a little game with us? I would love to. Let's do it. Want to play a game? All right, Darlene, this is a real easy game. Got a question here for you. Four answers. One of these answers is untrue. It's a lie. I made it up. I'm trying to fool you. No. If you find that, though, I'm going to reward you with that $100 gift card to Planet Hollywood. Are you ready? I am because I heard that menu and I'm salivating. Oh, nice. I like that. Very (laughs) sexy, by the way. Very sexy. Uh, it's National uh, Zoo Lovers Day. Ooh, That's right. Here ooh. are three fun facts about zoos and one lie. Uh, they just tried to kill you through the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I mess that up, are you? Here we go. Number one, talking about zoos. There are 355 zoos in the U.S. The Philadelphia Zoo, opened in 1894, is the oldest. Wow. Number one, or number two. At 414, Germany has more registered zoos than any other country in the world. Number three, the Monterey Bay Aquarium has the largest number of animals of any zoo in the world at 124,000 different animals. Or lastly, the giant panda is the most expensive animal to care for at $500,000 a year each. Uh Which of those is a lie? The second one. 
No, that's true. Germany has more zoos than any other country in the world. Wow. 414 of them, to be exact. And it's not that big of a country. It's not. That's kind of wild. It's like a zoo every two miles. <laughs> Jack, who's next? Rob. Rob, they're on line two. Rob, how you doing? Hey, guys. How you doing? Light hat, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, buddy, we're talking about zoos here. Which one of these is untrue? Number one, there are 355 zoos in the U.S. The Philadelphia Zoo opened in 1894. It's the oldest in the country. Number two, the Monterey Bay Aquarium has the largest number of animals of any zoo in the world at 124,000. Or lastly, the giant panda is the most expensive animal to care, at, care for at $500,000 each per year. I think there's more zoos than what you said for number one. I'm going to go to number one. Uh, you got it, but it's not because of the more zoos, but that is the answer. Yay! Yay. What, what year do you think the Philadelphia Zoo actually opened? I said 1894. 1924. No, 1874. Wow. Is when the Philadelphia right. Zoo opened. You're a winner, though, buddy. Enjoy that gift card. Congratulations. Hey, let us know how good that food is, okay. boss. All right, man, we'll put you on hold there. Jack will take care of you. Uh, the Monterey Bay That's... Aquarium does have the largest number of animals out there, 124,000. Wow. That's fishes, though, man. Yeah, a lot of the... <laughs> well, fish... you haven't seen Finding Dory because yeah, it of... looks like a really cool place. Yeah, a lot of fishes and frogs and whatnot out there. <laughs> I went to the zoo Friday. Did you really? The El Paso Zoo. Oh, really? How was that? It's one block from the Mexican border. Really? The wall. Oh, really? Yeah, legit. <laughs> wow. The legit. Wall, the wall is the elephant cage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. between <laughs> that and the Ciudad of uh, Juarez. Yeah, the uh, giant panda is the most expensive animal to care for. Now, look, here's the thing. That's kind of a twisted little bit of an answer uh, because that's exactly how much China leases them for each year. Oh, wow. So that doesn't include all the bamboo it that they eat. It doesn't include what they eat and everything. veterinary care. So it's actually more than that. But just to get them, and you have to get a pair. You can't just get one. When you rent them from China, giant pandas are $1 million a year a pair. It's, it's kind of like European soccer. You got to play this hefty <laughs> transfer a, fee. Exactly I guess, yeah. Doing. And Then, then just, you have to pay the player. And they just got them all back, remember? Didn't yeah. China, China, China take they them all did, back? They did, but they have since announced that they are going to be sending yeah. some more over because that's been an important symbol of diplomacy between our two it, countries for a long time. It really time. has. It really has. A couple other things you may not know about zoos before we get to the top of the hour. The oldest running zoo in the world is in Vienna. It's the Vienna Zoo. Started operating in the sprightly 1752. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, there are three of them. Oh, God, dude. This is a terrible one. You ready for this? This is true. In 1906, the Bronx Zoo displayed a kidnapped African boy named Oda Binga. It took 100 years for them to apologize because he wound up taking his life 10 years after he got here. They sawed his teeth down to make him look like points and everything. So he looked like a he looked like a wild man, and they kept him in a zoo in New York. And even after the incident, they they basically ignored that it happened. It took them a hundred years to admit it and to show any remorse for their decision. <gasps> that you know, is terrible. You know that stuff where you hear about stuff like that, and it's another place, and you're like, man, that place <laughs> is screwed up. What did you say? That was New York, the Bronx yeah, Zoo. Yeah, was the Bronx. Zoo. Yeah, yeah, the Bronx, the Bronx Zoo. Zoo. The Bronx Zoo. The Bronx wow. Zoo. Wow. Um, the UK's Chessington World of Adventure Zoo, you can't wear animal print clothes because the animals react to them. Oh, they're, that's true. They're attracted to the prints that are like them, and they get they get repelled by predator prints. Right, so you wouldn't want to wear a leopard print into the zebras. That's exactly the example they use. That's the wow. exact example really? they use. Wow. Is they said if you wear a leopard print into the zebra um, enclosure. You're going to freak the, them out. The zebras will react adversely to that. So they don't allow any of the animal prints at all. I had never thought yeah. of that. And then lastly here was the thing about the giant pandas. The, the fee to rent a pair of pandas in China uh, for one year is $1 million. And then, of course, you have to tend to them. I'm, I'm guessing the vet bills for a giant panda aren't cheap. Oh, I would imagine. Because, yeah, I mean, they're on lease from China, so you have to be so oh, yeah. on top of their health. You for don't... sure. Do you buy the extra insurance, like with a rental car? When you oh. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Buddy, how much do you have? Yeah, yeah. I'll take the uninsured zoologist. Um, yeah. Anyway. All right, 407-916-1041. Bomb that one. That's <laughs> dumb. That's a dumb. A little dumb joke there for you.
Went too far. That's the bad problem. Just went too far. <laughs> you hit a couple times, you think you've got it, then you don't. It, that's what I love. Plus, we're late, so it's like, wow, yeah. we could have just left a minute early. Yeah. I know. <laughs> this is the loneliest city in Florida, and it's actually one of the loneliest cities in the U.S. Oh, boo. I'll tell you what that is next. Oh, bummer. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Still seeing delays east and westbound this afternoon on I-4 for those traveling through the Orlando area, especially by the major attractions exits between US-27 and the 429 and between the Beach Line and 535. Looking at a slow ride north and southbound on Florida's Turnpike near the Oakland Exchange exit. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Walt Disney World Dot Jobs. Walt Disney World Resort is hiring. Explore a variety of full-time and part-time roles at the heart of the magic and enjoy great benefits like complimentary theme park admission, exclusive discounts, and more. Apply today at WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's a 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere, a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. SafeLight even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let SafeLight take care of everything. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. They're U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Uriah Heap and Saxo. Hell, Fire, and Chaos. U.S. Tour 2024. Two legendary bands on one bill. The best of British rock and metal. Coming to Plaza Live on April 25th. Tickets on sale at AXS.com. Tickets and VIP packages available now from the ticket outlet. The best of British rock and metal. In this week's Marketer's Report, Angela Zapata, CMO Hyundai Motor America, discusses measuring audio. The measurement capability with an audio, I think, surprised all of us. We have seen a huge return on our investment. Seeing real numbers has helped us continue to invest. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the data, audiences, and influencers you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Save time and money with the PVC Fence in a Box from Fence Outlet. It comes with everything you need for an average backyard of 120 feet starting at 2260. Go to FenceOutlet.com today for more information and store locations. License number C10252 and C10803. Sunny side Plumbing. Yes, I'm concerned about my water heater. If your concern is of a serious nature, press 1. If it's more of a frivolous matter, press 2. Doesn't even make sense. Just press 1 or 2. Fine. Fine. What are you so concerned about? My water heater's like 15 years old and I'm worried it might... Oh, this is exciting! Has it burst yet? Well, no, but... Only a matter of time. Hey, everyone! 15-year-old water heater, place your bets. Are you laying odds on when my tank will fail? Have to make 
this call interesting somehow. This would never happen at Frank Gay. True enough. So, $10 buy-in. What's your guess? Guess I should have called Frank Gay. When you need a new water heater, it's no time to gamble. You want your problem fixed fast before it turns into a bigger one. That's the Frank Gay way. I've got a side bet you'll hang up and call Frank Gay in three, two, I win! That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Get ready for three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. Not this weekend, but next weekend. You get extra savings across the board, up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings. Best prices all year and up to three years zero interest. Next weekend at IDC. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS Windows and Doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. This year full of real radio is brought to you by tools ace hardware tommy Mello here owner of a1 garage door service springtime savings are here and now is the perfect time to service your garage replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. New South Window Solutions. Made in Florida for Florida homes by Florida workers. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS-FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. The Jim Colbert Show, streaming live on YouTube. Watch us talk. Regarding AI, when a cop pulls over a driverless car, where does he walk up to the window? Hmm. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. Jack is here as well. I, uh, ahoy. Uh, I did see a very <laughs> funny Instagram video of a guy who has a Tesla, and he put his grandmother in the Tesla. And just as they're about to back out, he goes, oh, hold on, I forgot something. Walks up to the doorway and then tells his Tesla to go somewhere. Oh, no. And uh, let's just say she's from New York, and uh, she put on a small cursing clinic with the best <laughs> with the best New York accent you've ever heard in your would, entire life. It would make funny. you proud. Right. Yeah, it made me very proud. <laughs> um, do you guys remember the story of that woman? Uh, she was driving drunk and crashed into a vehicle that had a father and son who were visiting oh, UCF. Yeah, yeah, yeah they remember, were here. Remember that story? Yeah, exactly, because he was, I think he had just been accepted to UCF, and he and his father were down here looking at, like, housing yeah, options. Yeah, that's right, doing the visit, doing yeah. the housing, you know, looking for somewhere to, she, uh, they sentenced her uh, this past week. Did you see the sentence? I did not. What do you think? So that's double vehicular homicide, right? Yeah, because she killed both of them, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think, obviously, it's not first degree murder. Oh. Probably not, maybe not even second degree, but maybe because of the DUI. Uh, definitely uh, felonious actions here, costing two lives. What do you think that costs? 10 years? I was going to say life. Yeah. 23 years in prison. 23 years in prison. You think that's fair? I don't. DUI crash? That killed two. That killed two people. A young man and his father. How, how can? And that's the thing. What is what is fair when you talk about you? She you took just a, she wiped took, out half a family, and she took a plea yeah. deal to get there. Yeah. So she took a plea deal. Ah, uh, that's why. So basically, she didn't take her chances. Yeah, she did not take her chances. I'm guessing a plea deal. Maybe. Um, yeah, she was driving with a suspended license. Um, yeah, DUI manslaughter. So it came down to manslaughter. Because do you remember the the woman was just sentenced uh, last week as well. In the crash where the Altamont Springs family were out on yes. a bike ride. Yep. Oh, that was Harper. That yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. The toddler died. The father suffered traumatic brain injury. She just received, I believe, 25 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this girl, this woman, I think she's in her, 
Uh, she looks to be no more than maybe in her late 20s, early 30s. And she also has to serve. This is so funny. They even added this on there. And she's got to serve community service when she's done. <laughs> like 23 years later, trust me, she'll be glad to rake something. <laughs> exactly. My God. <laughs> I, get back. I got news for you. She won't be able to She won't be able to wait to get hold of your <laughs> exactly. shovel. Get the hell out of prison. All right. So before we went to break, I said this is the loneliest city in Florida. This is actually kind of interesting uh, how they took this poll. This is actually a nationwide poll. And how they did this is uh, 24-7 Wall Street, by the way. <clears throat> it says, uh, to find the loneliest city in every state, we use the Census Bureau data, uh, ranking 384 metro areas by share of non-family households living alone. In other words, this was taken in markets, and they basically got the idea of being lonely because you were living with no one. Aww. Single fa- single person in a structure, whether it be an apartment, condo, home, whatever the case may be. Uh, they added the share of people living alone as a percentage of civilian, non-institutionalized, 16-plus population. Uh, all of the data, including monthly gross rent and bachelor's attainment rate, came from the 2022 uh, American Survey Census. What do you think in Florida of the major areas in Florida? Oh, major. Which, well, I mean, about, yeah. you, is, maybe all the big cities in Florida. You know, it's Miami, Tampa, Christmas, Sarasota, <laughs> Orlando, Melbourne. Jacksonville. Yeah, I would say even Melbourne would be on the edge there. But you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. I'll, I'll guess Tallahassee. You'll guess Tallahassee. It's too expensive to live out with of, anyone. You, you, out of curiosity, why would you choose Tallahassee? Okay. Because it, a place where you can afford to live by yourself, because this is determined by people living by themselves. Oh, good point. It's it really it's hard to live by yourself in in a, a major city, right? But then after I said it, I realized because it's the capital. And the capital business, maybe it's not so cheap to live in Tallahassee. Well, but it would be transient, which would lead yeah. you to believe that people who are going up there for sessions yeah. or whatever that would live by themselves. What would you think? The loneliest city in. And the thing is, it doesn't have to really represent that the city doesn't have anything going or anything like that. It's just that the people, yeah. uh, a, a certain percentage of the people are living alone. That's go what Jacksonville. I was, was going to go Jacksonville because Miami is just, I mean, you can't. Nobody can live alone in Miami. It's simply too expensive. I, I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah. One of you guys earned a dong. It's oh. got to be Jack. It is Jack. It is Jack. Oh, nailed it. Tallahassee oh. is the answer. Oh, it's a birthday dong, Jack. And, and, and I'll tell you what, this is this, this actually gets me a birthday dong. <laughs> oh, Diddy. I got the birthday dong. <laughs> That sounds like the perfect children's tune. Uh, you should show write that. Title. Um, I did find that very interesting because it does give you a list of the other loneliest places that are you know, major cities. I said the, you know, the the populous population. And I could see what Jack was saying because I remember the first time I went to Tallahassee thinking that, oh, wow, that's the seat of state government. It's got to be pretty <laughs> she-she. Got to yeah, be yeah. pretty. <laughs> and then I get there and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. it is not This that. is not. So think of all those businesses that are cranking during yeah. the legislative session, and then all those people go home, and all that business goes with them. And then outside of working for the government, yeah. you're working for the prisons. Yeah. You're working for Walmart. That's right. Because there is no really big industry. It is kind of a pretty place, though. I've it's only, gorgeous. I've only been there a couple of times. Once when I was very young, and then just once recently on that nightmare trip we took up to Mississippi, we drove through and stopped for lunch. And I just I found it to be like because the the topography in North Florida is a little bit more hilly. Oh, and trees. You, you get some more. You get more action like that. A lot of trees. And it, it actually was a very. I mean, around the capital was beautiful, um, but it was dead. I well, mean, it was. It was a dead ass city. There's nobody there. And keep in mind, you know, they were able to solve the murder of the Microsoft executive, I believe it was, who was murdered up in Tallahassee, or the law professor, simply because the green Prius that the killers drove from Miami. Had an e-pass. Oh, really? Tallahassee doesn't have enough traffic. They don't have e-passes. Wow. So as soon as they saw that transponder, they're like, oh, that car's not from Tallahassee. Wow. That car's not from this area. All right, so based on that, what do you think the loneliest city in the U.S. is? Washington, D.C. Is the answer. Oh, wow. Is the answer. Isn't that fascinating? That dong it. The capital of, uh, but the funny thing is, is when you look at other states, their capitals are not involved in that. But D.C. thinks so. D.C. and Tallahassee. I got a birthday double dong. Have that. <laughs> That's usually five hundo, Jack. 
and just, a, that's five hundred in a in a no, in a non disclosure. Yeah. We're just dropping Joe titles. Yeah, we got our left and that's, right. a, that's an NDA in five hundred bucks. Yeah, DC. Don't let Fitty get a hold of it. Forty eight point six percent of the structures, according to this, are one person in that structure. That makes Whoa. real sense, though, because again, like you were saying, even though people are representing certain states, while well, in DC, they go back home right. when when they're not in session. Right. Not in session, and that means that all of those aides, all of those assistants, staffers. all of those staffers, they all live there singularly, or maybe they team up. But the fact is, is a large portion of D.C. lives alone. Other cities are like, um, I don't even recognize half of these. Texarkana okay. yeah, uh, is one of them. That's number six. Decatur, Illinois. Okay. Santa Fe, New Mexico. Really? Santa Fe, New Mexico is considered one of the loneliest places in the U.S. Aww. because of single-person ownership in homes and, and apartments. I find that a little weird because Santa Fe's kind of that area up there is a little tucked away. There's no question; it's kind of up there, and you yep. gotta you gotta want to be up there to be up there. Yeah. But once you get up there, you get the feeling you move around a whole bunch. No, and it's uh, and I was there last two Wednesday, and just driving around, it was be- because I spend you spend a lot of time in that uh, in old historic town. When you get outside of that, it's like, oh, they they have a you know a, a strip mall, and they have all the. Yeah, when I see the same kind of stores that you see here in Florida, I'm like, oh, they, that's here, and that's here, and that's here. <laughs> yeah, 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 Did here. you find a Dollar General, they, Jack? They, they, yes. They have Dollar Generals. They, oh, DC. You see how Walmart. excited he was? Uh, New Mexico Did, you, did yeah. you use your app at the I did New Mexico? Okay. Here, the I other, did use it the day I got back. Here's the <laughs> other thing that's very interesting about this top ten list of the most loneliest places in the U.S. One state has three cities in the top ten. And again... It's not a state because it's California. Well, hold on. Alaska. This state is Ooh. usually recognized by one big city, and nobody really considers the remainder of the state. New oh, Nebraska. York. Huh? New York. No. Nebraska. No. Wisconsin. Um, a major city. Top five. Oh, uh, Illinois, Chicago. Chicago is the answer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Illinois has three cities Damn, Jack. in this. Yeah. Danville, <laughs> Decatur, and uh, Champaign Urbana. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But it's a all, suburb of Chicago. All three of those cities are considered the some of the loneliest places in the U.S. Ohio has two, uh, and then Florida has none in the top ten. Does Wisconsin have any? Wisconsin has none. That's no? because they forgot the state even exists. <laughs> yeah, El- El- <laughs> Elmira, New York's in there. You know where that is? I've heard of it. Yeah, I have yeah. as well. But other Grand Forks. But other than that, like nothing, like no super popular places. I mean, just, you know, Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland. You live alone there because you can't imagine the shame of somebody knowing that you live there. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Our buddy Ray Trimley's up next here on the Jim Colbert Show. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringo's Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. Major problems reported on I-4 eastbound this afternoon due to a serious crash blocking three lanes on the interstate near Fairbanks Avenue, causing stop-and-go delays back from Princeton Street. So make sure to give yourself extra time if traveling on the interstate through downtown this afternoon. Still seeing delays between the Beach Line and 535 for those by the major attractions exits. Looking at slowdowns as well between US 27 and the 429. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha canning this report is sponsored by valvoline instant oil change what could you do in 15 minutes how about a premium oil change at valvoline instant oil change our certified technicians will guide you in use only premium products and get you back out on the road in no time quick easy trusted that's valvoline instant oil change Let's get you that new bathroom you've been dreaming of for so long. My friends over at Rebath in Mid-Florida can do that for you, and they can do it for you in just four to six days, which is unheard of. They'll do it with their employees, no subcontractors in and out of your house that you don't recognize. The same team's there until the job is done, and when it's done, they'll hand you a lifetime guarantee on the products and the install. And guys, these products are amazing. Natural stone, travertine marble, all those beautiful colors you love, and multiple choices of sinks and tubs and tile and lighting and cabinetry and by the way if you 
get with uh, Rebath right now and you decide you want to get a bathroom, tell them you heard about them from the Jim Colbert Show, and they're going to give you $800 with the free upgrades for your bathroom. Use those how you will. Upgrade your tile, upgrade your fixtures, upgrade your shower glass, whatever you want to do, these guys can take care of you. $800 in upgrades. Do that now. And then visit the showroom, 436 Up and Outsman, right across from Kobe. They're so easy to find. And, guys, if you're worried about integrity, don't. The blue and the orange stores that do the DIY stuff, Rebath installs their bathrooms for them. And if they can trust them, you can certainly trust them. You can also find them online. I suggest that. Look at the before and afters. See what they've actually installed and done for people. That way you can, with confidence, contact these guys for a quote as well. And don't forget, mention the Jim Colbert Show, $800 in upgrades. Do that right now. It's Rebath, midfla.com. As a parent, you're probably unsure what college will look like for your child in the future. Rest assured, Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. There's no way to know what type of higher education your child will pursue years from now. But whether it's a two-year state college, four-year university, trade, or technical school, in state or out, our flexible 529 prepaid plans will help you pay for it, starting at just $34 a month, so you can plan on giving your child the best future possible. Florida Prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. Here's a top move for hiring a divorce attorney. See how they look and handle themselves on video or audio. Chances are that's them at their best with editing, setup, and multiple takes. The courtroom is live. Mediation is live. Make sure your divorce lawyer is going to make you look good. At Trendley Kramer Law, we handle family law and divorce. TK Law, one firm for life. And now you're fresh from Florida forecast with our friendly Florida farmer, Phil. How's it looking in the fields, Phil? Fantastic. Florida blueberry season is here, and we've got a big blueberry front sweeping through. Expect a downpour of blueberries in your morning cereal, a good chance of blueberries in your afternoon smoothies, and a high probability of blueberry pies for dessert. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Phil. That's very good news. Look for the Fresh from Florida logo where you shop. There's sunshine in every bite. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 call Mo. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorneys. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is ragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side. Now, when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. I'm Johnny B. Good, the host of the podcast Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin. This podcast dives deep into the story of Ray Trapani and his company, Centratech. I'll explore how 320-somethings built a company out of lies, deceit, and greed. I've been saying since a very young age that I was going to be a millionaire. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. 
Listen to Creating a Con, the story of BitCon, on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Think orange for your next vehicle. OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show, also available to watch yeah. at The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Clifford in West Palm. I lived in Tallahassee for many years growing up through my teens and early 20s. I loved it. It's so diverse. You get the hunting, the fishing, the college town oh, yeah. scene, yeah, yeah. The, the, the trails, the woods, the hills, the canopy roads. Not only that, they make it affordable for single people to live. Maybe that's why it is. I think that the, the so, nature of the city has a lot to do with it as well, though. Yeah. So, I mean, if loneliest city is determined by people who can afford to live by themselves, I mean, that's also a positive in a community that they can afford to live by themselves. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Not 10 deep. God yeah, almighty. I mean, my daughter has an apartment by herself, but, uh, I mean, the majority of her pay goes towards that apartment. Uh, my daughter lives with three people and yeah. pays 1300 a month. Yeah. Whoa. Because a three-bedroom apartment in this city is about thirty-four, thirty-five hundred dollars a month. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> well, you try to rent an eighteen hundred square foot house in an okay part of town, and it's twenty-five hundred bucks a month. All right, four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. And there's Jackson. Hey there. And every single Monday at six twenty, this guy comes by. He's awesome. Yeah, he, he has is. a law firm up in Altamont called TK Law. The website's onefirmforlife.com. His name? It's Ray Trendley. Good luck. Oh! You know, they wouldn't let me in the Jackie sack while you were gone. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, was, I was really bummed. Uh, you know, he's got a couple dongs in there today. Uh, was pretty Three good. dongs. Triple dong day. Oh, yeah. Triple dong day for him. You don't That's want to get every anywhere Monday. near it. Yeah. Yeah. That's every Monday. Normal. Uh, how's it going, boss? I'm doing okay. How are you? Good. You have a big smile on your face today. Have you had a good weekend or something? Uh, I, mean, I worked all weekend. Did you really? And I'll probably be working all next weekend. So really? I guess that puts me in a good mood because I love what I do. Yeah. What are you? Uh, are you why? Wine? Is it no wine? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, wine? Why is that a bad idea? idea. <laughs> wine is uh, why I love what I do. Is that's there right. a, is there a specific case that's driving you to work on the weekends, or just a workload in general? No, you know I've. That's a good sign, by the I've way. I've been very fortunate and very blessed that uh, we've brought on a number of attorneys and staff members who um, are really amazing, and I enjoy working with them every single day. But uh, I, I don't think I can ever beat it out of myself that. Part of, I think, what makes me a good leader and a good boss is the fact that I don't ask anybody in the office to do anything that I'm not willing to do. Sure. So if another attorney in the office has a trial or if they got a big case that they're working up, I don't let them work by themselves all weekend. I like to be there with them. And even if I'm working on the case or not working on the case, I'm working on a different case, I like to be there with them because I don't, I don't know. I, I've never... I've never wanted to be the boss that was like, yeah, you guys go work. Right. I'm going to go, you know, sip my ties on the beach, you know. It's just that's never been me. So Yeah, that's the way I would lead a firm. My ties like, on the hey, beach. Hey, my ties <laughs> on the beach. You guys call me. I'll be the uh, Aquatica sitting in the chair. <laughs> you know, uh, so I, I don't know. But I, I enjoy that. It, it makes it a little fun, you know. Um, well, I know this for I a fact. I get to pick apart somebody else's argument, yeah, yeah. even if they're in my office, and say, like, you're going to lose, and this is how. and. And then now you got to come up with a plan on how not to lose. Well, this is also how you retain great talent, too, because if the great talent there um, sees you working your ass off, uh, you're not going to lose them. I'm guessing great talent alike uh, in the lawyer business would be just as difficult as it is to find help in the restaurant business. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, just in any industry, right? You, yeah, yeah. You've got 80%, which are average. Uh -huh. I know that, that doesn't quite make sense with the bell curve, but you got 80% that are average, and we want the top 20 always. Yeah. Always. You know? Those are hard to find. Always, uh, yeah. And, you know, now in this market, when you are one of those top 20% people, you know, there's a premium to be paid for that. Sure, absolutely. So you have to do that. But, you know, most employers don't mind paying for quality employees. That's one of the biggest secrets. Like, well, I'll just go in there and, you know, I'll give them 80%. That'll do. For the most part, you know, as an employer, you know, you know the people who care. You know, you know the people who make those decisions absolutely. that uh, sometimes are a bit sacrificial for the betterment of the company and their job. And and those are always the people that you keep your eye on, though, you know. And you want, you know, you want to reward loyalty and hard work and right. um 
Yeah. So there you go. That's why I've been working so much. Well, uh, Ray runs TK Law. That's one firm for life.com. Their offices are right there in Altamont Springs. A number of legal disciplines are practiced under that roof. Anything from estate sales, personal injury, um, divorce, family, law. family yeah. law, any of that stuff. Real estate. Uh, TKLaw.com is a good place to start. Or, or excuse me, one firm for life.com, TK Law. Uh, is a good place to start. Um, you have a case first today? So I got a fun one. <laughs> and 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 this is an interesting case because you literally could not pay me enough to participate in this lawsuit. You couldn't. You could not. <laughs> I could not come up with a retainer large enough to uh, to hire Ray Trenley for this particular lawsuit. Oh, I'd participate as a lawyer. I wouldn't participate as a party. <laughs> okay, so maybe. this is a class action lawsuit. Class action. Everybody's and, involved. And uh, so there's a, a man uh, in California named Brian Weeks. <laughs> you and, get you and, first and last out there for sure. And, well, it's public record. And he is suing a company called Interactive Life Forms. And do you know what Interactive Life Storms makes? Life Forms makes? Interactive Life Forms. Oh, oh, oh no. sex dolls. Uh, Wait, no, 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 a, no, 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 no. It's prosthetics. It's prosthetics. It's got to be prosthetics. Definitely not prosthetics. Uh, Deb, you got an answer? It's not the sex doll. It's sex dolls. Hey. <laughs> uh, don't ask me how I know. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> how do you, you know? Did you just read your tattoo? <laughs> um, so he's suing Interactive Life Forms. And what he's suing them for is Uh-oh. that they make a product that guarantees improving your sexual performance. Okay. Never heard this before at a convenience store. Allowing you to last longer. Okay. And they have a stamina model. You got a number? Which helps you improve <laughs> your sexual stamina and forces you to be better in bed. Forces me? Forces you. Uh, like my mom cool. used to. And then they attach um, screenshots to the lawsuit. And, and actually, I kind of like the screenshot thing. I do this all the time, especially if you if you if you're suing about something and it's really hard for a judge or jury to conceptualize and visualize. It's great doing a screenshot and adding a little printout. So but, is, would that be because the judge doesn't understand what exactly the product is? Is that why you would have to show them? Yeah, exactly. So this one has has a has a screenshot of the stamina training unit. The lady version, because they also have a male version. Okay. <laughs> and it says, practice makes perfect. Every man knows the best way to improve any skill is to practice, and practice often. The stamina training unit was engineered expressly with that purpose in mind. Oh. To turn ordinary fun okay. into an intensely pleasurable training session. Okay. And uh, does, does this product have a product name, or is it just a sex doll? Uh, it is the uh, Fleshlight, which is the number one selling product <laughs> worldwide. And so this young man, oh, actually, I don't know his age. Dude, that, uh, that Fleshlight, I, that I, Fleshlight's been in the game for a long time, I, dude. Out of, out of, uh, normally in a situation like this, I immediately will type it in Google. And now <laughs> I, I don't want this in my Google yeah, search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> type it in there, Jack. So, <laughs> type it in there. It's going to autofill and you know it. So he alleges. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Angel, what have you yeah, been doing? Get out of here. Jack types in FL and it goes, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that, that's one of those great things that you leave on the screen for t- tomorrow <laughs> morning when they, they hit at the show. Meet Spin. So, um, <laughs> so this is my favorite of all of the allegations. Aware of their claim that practice makes perfect. Plaintiff dutifully uses his device frequently, although he failed to see any immediate improvement in his sexual performance or his stamina. Plaintiff continued to use the device regularly for several months in the hope that extended use with the product would work as advertised. After several months of use, however, there was no improvement in his sexual performance or stamina. That is unbelievable. And you could not pay me enough to that, join this class action that, lawsuit because even if it's true. Yeah, yeah, it does not matter. Even if it's true. And that guy attaches his face to that statement. That is For the unreal. rest of his life. For the rest of his life. I also want to know what the damages he's suing are. Uh, so obviously it's class action. So I thought, I thought you were going to say that he used it so much that he injured himself. Not that it actually didn't improve his stamina or his ability to... If he hurt himself, though, I actually think that's less embarrassing. <laughs> I think so, Like, too. if I used yeah. it as, as... I broke out the back of it. I used it as directed, <laughs> and it's like, oh, I uh, sprained myself. <laughs> right, exactly. And you're like, oh, that's a bummer for that guy. Like, oh, I could yeah. see him suing for damages. But this guy, straight up, 
is look at you mate <laughs> uh, I, i've tried it it's not working nobody wants to yeah. you know dear person who owns this <laughs> i got too drunk the other night and blew out my rotator cuff <laughs> so so you do the math i, I sent this buddy so I, I don't know what happened to my email. My email's been a little wonky today. Um, I'm blaming it on the solar eclipse. Uh, but I sent this in a text <laughs> message to my, one of my buddies, and he says, um, think of the leverage this guy will have in a settlement negotiation. He says to the other attorney, you think I'm bluffing? You think I'm scared of trial? I put my name on this lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, but you got to give it to him. He's right. And, he's like, look, he's I'm, all, I'm all in on this thing, dude. I'm a, now, what's he stewing for? Do you, do you, does it say the number? No, because it's a class action right. law. So he's just saying it's numerosity and damages and, you know, uh, they want to certify the class. And if they fail at certifying the class, they're going to have to come up with some kind of damages amount. But Let me ask you real quick about class action lawsuits. Yeah. Those are very interesting. And I don't know how lawyers feel about them. But, I mean, do you have to get a certain amount of people – uh, involved for it to kind of qualify for a class action? And, and if so, is it a percentage of total sales? How do they figure that out? Yeah, so it has. So the term is numerosity, uh, which I realize now when you asking that question is, is very vague and, and not specific. So they don't really have a specific number, which equals numerosity. I, I think most jurisdictions say, like, if you've got 75 people with a similar lawsuit and, and the outcome will impact them all the same, then that's probably sufficient for a class action. So really what we're talking about is a large group of people that may be similarly affected. So basically how this would happen, and I know that, have you ever received a, have you ever received oh, yeah. a class action lawsuit letter? Yeah. Jacket, have you ever received a class action? Yes, yeah. So you I, want that $5? I have as well. <laughs> and so basically they would send this out. They would gain the information of purchase through, I guess, a third party? Usually you get it from the defendant. You get it yeah. from the defendant. So there's a class action lawsuit. So eventually they have to send a letter out to everyone that's purchased one of these. Sure. So that means that hits the mailboxes of people out there whose wives will check the mail for them. You're right. Yeah, you're right. And, and you know, <laughs> you, you could do it. You could do it the old. You know, the old. Um, you know, the old like '90s uh, TV marketing campaign. You know, have you? Have you been injured by this device? Oh, yeah. Do they promise you better results? And, you know, <laughs> it, you've been below average afterwards. You know, call us now. We'll represent <laughs> you. It's weird. There's so many supplements that make claims of that nature. There are so many supplements. Do you want to last longer? Do you want to stay longer? I mean, and it's not the Viagra or any of the, 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 the scientifically approved. proven ones. Yeah, the FDA yeah. ones. I mean, this is like, you know, just gas station stuff. Yeah, the, uh, the goat weed. Yeah, yeah. Um, Any herbal, I mean, you know. uh, yeah, you, you know, it's funny because that's where my mind went to, and I was, I was actually trying to pull up like other lawsuits similar to this, uh, and I, that was one of the ones I looked up. I don't know how they get away with it. There's got to be probably some disclaimer somewhere on the packaging that says this has not been evaluated for well, truthfulness or something like that. Well, that's, I think, that's what they say is not FDA approved or yeah. whatever. I mean, they, you know, um. And that's how they get away with it. I mean, I bet the well, thing FDA is, it, approval is different from like I'm misrepresenting this to you. So like, right, yeah. I could say like, hey, this is the best car in my opinion. Right, right, right. right. So it could be like, hey, this is going to improve your sexual performance and make you last longer or make something grow. We think, right, right. But right. this has not been evaluated <laughs> oh, it, by a doctor. How about this? It has shown to. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah, could be language like that. Hey, you know, in, in certain cases. Or in cases, that's why they run that disclaimer is, you know, this is not exactly the results everybody experiences, right? Right. So, I, I mean, my mind went there, too. I wasn't able to find, because, again, it's funny you went to the gas station stuff, because that's where I went to. I, I remember as a kid seeing that stuff on the gas station, and I'd be like, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, you could buy straight up, like, speed at gas stations. Those no-dos and those, what they call, was it mini, no mini thins? No-dos was just caffeine. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we, at least to pop like four of those into uh, a Red Bull. And, uh, oh, oh uh, my God, man. How's your heart? Yeah. I actually have got, I've got heart problems. I appreciate oh, you yeah. uh, bringing that. No, oh, it's teasing. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> my, my, my heart problems have to do with uh, cholesterol and eating too much steak. Yeah, but you look good. Uh, thank you. You uh, eat a lot of steak? You eat, are you a red meat guy? Uh, I love red meat. Yeah, me too, buddy. S so I, so I went, it's good for you, though. I went vegetarian for a year. Um, which was a weird. It's good knowing you, buddy. Get on out of here. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I did it. I, I did it for health reasons, right? And I did it, and um, I just never felt like I had energy. I did the juicing thing to try to help with like, but none of it helped. You know what helps? Meat. Red meat. Yeah, and I'm a, 
That's coming I'm back, a by the way. Kind of guy. It's coming oh. back around. You know, they're they're starting to, a lot of people are like, you know what? Really good for you? Red meat. That yeah. iron and the fat's all good for you. With a little the bit car- of the carbs are no good. A little bit of um Unfortunately, butter on we, top. Can, oh, yeah. we can't produce enough t- for everyone on the planet. That's it. That is the problem. <laughs> have you bought have you bought a steak at the grocery store lately? Uh can I tell you? So I think the last time I bought steak, and this is probably says a lot about me. Uh, my best friend and I, we usually go in and buy like half a, half a cow. Right, 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 um, right. And I think we we still have some of that. Uh, but we, I don't know. My wife has probably bought a couple of ribeyes or something. Oh, you know what it was? We did a prime rib roast over the holidays. That yeah, was yeah. probably the last time. Okay, so let me that tell was you. not cheap. Let me tell you, buddy. It is ridiculous right now. I saw two um, boneless ribeyes at a grocery store. I won't say who it was, but <laughs> at a grocery store recently, and I looked down at the package: two steaks, two steaks. Thirty-eight dollars. Whoa! That sounds about Two right. Two steaks, thirty-eight bucks, and they weren't even like these steaks. Like, oh my god, I'm never going to eat this. These are steaks. I'm like, I can wipe that out. I may be able to wipe that package out. I'll. I'm, uh, you you want to get a little hint? You want to get a little heads up here? What's that? The best deal in high level beef. No, huh? Costco. No, 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 no. Is Publix. But here's what they do. I'm sure other stores do it. But Publix will do this when they trim their filet mignons. There is there are scraps. There are little tips when they cut them off to make them pretty. They package those up and sell them. Oh, I love the tips. Okay, so check this out. So, <laughs> oh god, <clears throat> fifteen. You know, it's fifteen ninety nine for filet when you buy it. Yeah, those hold the, it, Deb. The hold t- on to it, yeah, Deb. Yeah. <laughs> the tips are only eight dollars a pound. I'll be shutting off my I, own I microphone. Have, I got one and a quarter pounds of filet mignon tips the other day for $7.50. No way. Absolutely. It's the best. And that's why you can hardly ever find them. But if you guys out there want a really good insider deal, when you go to Publix next, go to the meat department and look for those pieces of filet tip when they trim the filets up. They put that in a package and sell it to you. It, can I tell you? I like it better than normal filet. I, I'm going to rephrase that by go to your local <laughs> butcher and ask for just the tip. That's what I heard. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and you'll get a great, a great discount and deal. Hey, let me ask you a question. Does that guy got any chance of that lawsuit? I don't know what his damages are. But <laughs> I, it, it's his it, reputation is damaged. That has value, does it not? He damaged well, he, himself. He, he damaged how are you going to prove that? How are you going to prove yeah. that? You got five people, let's say, that had before and after use uh, intercourse, Ew. and and they're all going to say. They bring the girl. I don't know, but uh, I mean, you know, okay. Let's say let's say let's say there's 50 people that yeah. are willing to take the stand, and one after the next, you run them up there as a defense attorney, and you go, or as the uh, as you know, as defending the company, and you go, hey, what happened here? Well, when I brought the flashlight, I could la- I could only last 30 seconds, and I got the flashlight or the flashlight, and I used it for <laughs> six months according to what they told me to do. I followed their instructions, and it did not help my. And by the way, if you don't believe me. Here's my girlfriend. Here's my wife. I can agree. John here is not good for anything past you know a minute and a half. <laughs> so, but like, so I pulled this up online, and and my wife will probably be asking me some questions when I get home. Oh um, boy! But these things cost like 120 bucks. Oh yeah, worth every nickel. And, and so, <laughs> <laughs> and, and so conceptually and, speaking, and um, they have so, well, never mind. Stop. Um, uh, they. So, but like it's 120 bucks. Like I, I look at it and I think about it. Your best case scenario for this guy is that, yeah, they misrepresented this to you. They induced you to buy this product. They didn't deliver. Get your money back. Yeah. At the most. And like, do you want to, do you want right. to put your name on this lawsuit for a hundred, let's say 150 <laughs> bucks. Let's say it's more expensive in California where you, this guy's <laughs> filing lawsuit. Like, would you do that for 150 bucks? No. I wouldn't. Yeah, no way I'd do it for you, 150 You could not pay what, me enough money. What is the number though? What's the number? Is it, he doesn't have a number. Yeah, yeah, what I'm saying is, like, you know, what do you think? Like, if you went to the average, I would think you and I probably represent every average Joe out there listening right now would be like, no, nah, dude, I'm not putting my, I'm not, I'm not going to make that argument for 150, but 5K. Really? 5,000? Five, 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 I'm just asking. You're telling me there's not somebody listening to this audience right now that wouldn't sit on the standing and cross examine about how they can or cannot last for five grand? Uh, I gotta tell you, I think you'd have to take numbers to get in that crew. Really, yeah. I don't. That might that might not be one of those uh, YouTube questions for you guys. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, the more I think about it, though, I, I think your damages are um, your reputation, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, but, but what's your reputation worth? No, I'm when saying you're already terrible. You're damaging your your own <laughs> reputation. That's <laughs> right, right. what you're winning. You know, it's not like you went from I'm a high performer, I'm the top eighty, now I'm the bottom twenty. 
you were always in the bottom 20. Right, 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 right. So you just get to stay there. Right, right. right. <laughs> and, and here's your coupon for 150 bucks to go do whatever you want. How about this? Let me. I, I, we had to go, but I want yeah. one more wrinkle. How about this guy says, hey, you know what? I bought this flashlight because it told me I could do this, and my aspiration in life was to be a, an adult film star. Find another career. I, I wanted to be an adult film star. I had my <laughs> dream set on it. I bought the flashlight to kind of get myself ready for That's those for training for those sessions. Yeah. And now my dream is dead because your product didn't do what it said it was going to do. That's not all that's Mr. dead. Mr. Lawyer. Sir, your, dr- your dream never lived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sir, did you have fun trying? <laughs> Case dismissed. Oh, uh, you know, uh, that uh, would actually be a really great deposition question. Yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy it while you're using it? <laughs> yeah. Then it met its purpose. Well, yeah, it worked, obviously. Obviously. All right, for us, for maybe months. too good. <laughs> All right, 407 916 1041. Text us at 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. We'll do You Heard It Here First and Get the Hell Out of Here on a Monday. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey there, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Noah Bergen here. Tonight, low 60s. Tomorrow, mid 80s, mostly sunny. A little breezy tomorrow. Wednesday, breezy as well. We're in the mid to high 80s. Thursday's gusty winds up to 40 miles an hour. There'll be some showers and storms late in the day, probably late afternoon into the evening. Then Friday, it's a beauty. Sunny, low 80s, low humidity, dry, a little breezy from the northwest, and then it will be great for the weekend. This report is sponsored by Dairy Queen. Hey, DQ fans, they've got the deal of the century for you. Download the DQ app and get buy one, get one free Blizzard treats. Just like that, you can get any two Blizzard treats for the price of one. Only at participating DQ locations. Happy taste good. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. You know, we're just selling our house. We're cleaning it up, getting it ready to for the uh, walkthrough. And every time I walk around, I look at those beautiful windows from FAS Windows and Doors. And, man, that was, like, one of the best moves I ever made for that spot. And I did it before in another house, and I just remember – what an awesome idea it was to get FAS windows and doors in. And if you deal with a house with terrible windows, those single-pane aluminum frame windows, got to get those out of there. FAS is the largest window and door showroom in all of Central Florida. You're certainly going to find something you love for style. But what these guys offer you in construction is unbelievable. They're all built with impact-resistant glass for security, noise reduction, and maximum efficiency. They have a full selection of hurricane windows and doors. Estimates are always free, and they always give you tons of options. And even better, every single product they sell every one of them has a lifetime warranty and if you act right now you could receive rebates of 55 dollars per window and 95 dollars per door no money down no interest no payments for 12 months financing is available and their showroom could not be easier to find Fairbanks and I-4, it's right there. Slide in. Look at the windows that really, really get you excited, and then have them installed. Their installers are wonderful people. Your house is going to love you. Your AC is going to work less, which means it lasts longer. Your power bills are going to drop. Your house is going to be nice and quiet, and it's going to be safer as well. You can't lose with FAS. Hop hop online today and book your appointment. It's FASWD.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. They're U.S based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues and all plans are backed by the million dollar protection package which means if you lose money because of identity theft a lifelock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan help protect your information with lifelock go to lifelock.com and save up to 25 percent your first year with my name clay as your promo code They're modern-day con artists, and they're the focus of Creating a Con, a true crime anthology podcast. Season 1 spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam, endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather, and built on empty promises and millions from built investors. 
If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. And I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. If it plugs in, turns on whatever the make, get it all covered because everything breaks. It's a fact. Things in your home are going to break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings, too. For a free coverage, quote now call 800 fix it 77 that's 800 fix it 77 one free call could save you thousands get it all covered your way because everything breaks limitations and exclusions apply see plan terms and conditions for details coverage not available in all states actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed call 800 fix it 77 online at go everything every parent wants their child to find happiness in whatever path they choose Florida Prepaid has a plan to help you support them by affordably and confidently saving for college. Our 529 prepaid plans start at just $34 a month, and you have peace of mind knowing that when you lock in 2024 prepaid plan prices, your payment will never go up. It's inflation-proof and further proof that it's the best way to ensure the brightest future. Florida Prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Twin Peaks is always adding exciting cocktails to the menu, like the expertly balanced Sincoro Hall of Fame Margarita. Try it at your local lunch today. We now return to the Jim Colbert Show. Oh my God, you guys are killing me today. Jack with his triple donger and, and Ray liking the tips. You guys are just <laughs> playing me today. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. 407-916-1041. Text us. 77031. Yep. So good. Thanks, Ray. And thanks to that caller who made yeah. me feel better about yeah. losing my ass when Ray <laughs> talked about letting the tip. I promise I fall into most of that stuff. Yeah. I'm not that far. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim, Deb Jack, and our friend Ray Trenley. One firm for life.com. That's TK Law. Offices are up in Altamont Springs. How long have you guys been doing it up there, buddy? Like uh, 15 years or so? Um, we've been back at this building since 2014, so 10 years, but um, we were there probably close to uh, probably 17 years oh, wow. at yeah, that yeah, building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you guys were... Uh, at, we were in Maitland for a few years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, Which is super convenient. Yeah, yeah. You got a busy week this week? Um, yeah. Last week, I was hammered. I was in court every single day except... Wednesday. Yeah. When Ray uh, says he's hammered, he means he's working. He's a lot. working, people. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else, different. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, different yeah. hammered. One is not mutually exclusive of the other sometimes, but uh, uh, that's usually only when I'm on the radio. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, this week is it's a little bit of a lighter week from a workload standpoint, but again, um, just getting all the I's dotted and T's crossed and paperwork done and Getting people divorced and oh, getting their God. state planning knocked out and yeah, making it all happen. That stuff. You know, actually, I need to. We probably need to. When we get into this new place, we're going to get with you on uh, some estate planning stuff. We need yeah. to get. Uh, if it's about time for us to take advantage, you know, to kind of do the will thing, the yeah. living will thing. I don't have one now, which Never is a bad of, time, which is sketchy. But I need to do that for sure. It's about time to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. J- Jack's story always resonates when this comes up, you know, how much easier it was when his mom set all that stuff up beforehand. I'll be honest. I'm super judgmental. Jack was probably my favorite and easiest of all my clients ever. So if you're any more difficult than he is, I will judge you. <laughs> uh, Good. Finally. Hey, let me ask you, are your taxes difficult because of your because of your profession? Yeah, I, I mean, I think like everybody else on the planet, I don't want to pay them ever, and <laughs> they always want too much money. Have you um, already filed yours this year? 
No. Yeah. I, 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 I hopefully <laughs> I'm getting mine back this week because I haven't filed mine either. You do the extension like every year? Oh, yeah. We used to do that. That was like our play. Just, just We would just go like, just get, do the extension. Just so you know, that's not my move. That's my CPA's move. Oh, yeah, that's if fine. If it was up to me. Get it done. I'd be done. Yeah, yeah. But he's like, eh, we'll let it figure it out. And I was like, all, all right. right. <laughs> well, you know, you're the expert. What do I know? All right. Let's do You Heard It Here First. It's time for You Heard It Here First on The Jim Colbert Show. Yeah, first of all, uh, just a few quick stories of stuff that uh, hadn't broken during the uh, time of woke news. Congress returns this week with a lengthy to-do list, and the House Speaker Mike Johnson is facing pressure to put a sweeping national security package that includes aid for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan on the floor for a vote across the Capitol. Uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer later this week is expected to move to dismiss the Articles of Impeachment against Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. A Georgia woman closer to home is facing charges in a road rage case she allegedly blamed on today's eclipse. Oh, very nice. The Florida Highway Patrol says 22-year-old Talon Celestine fired randomly at other drivers on Florida's I-10 interstate, grazing one driver and hitting another in the neck. Wow. Celestine reportedly checked out of a hotel telling the staff she was going on a shooting spree directed by God in relation to the eclipse. Good Lord. Wow. How this story could not have turned out worse is a miracle because troopers found an AR-15 and a 9 millimeter handgun when they arrested her. Damn. And wow. then finally, speaking of today's uh, eclipse, Bonnie Tyler's biggest hit is number one again, That's more so than 40 years <laughs> after it was first released. Hello, Who'd Internet. have thunk? Tyler's 1983 hit, Total Eclipse of the Heart, is at the top of playlists on Spotify here in the United <laughs> States. The song served as the unofficial anthem of today's total solar eclipse ar- across the U.S. And did you know this or not? Tyler still performs the song live yep. at concerts to this day. Oh, man. And now you've heard it here first on the Jim Colbert Show. Thanks, Deb. Appreciate that. 407-916-1041. Who do we have to thank today? We want to thank Elixir for that delicious, delicious lunch. Uh, also want to thank Brandon Kravitz from our sister station, 96.9 The Game. Uh-huh. Friendly attorney Ray Trendley from TK Law, OneFirmForLife.com. Mm-hmm. Sam Bowen for sharing his Eclipse live stream with us on our YouTube channel and for running our YouTube chat along with the beautiful Candace Rich. There you go for sure. I know we have something coming up at Elixir this weekend because that food was incredible. I had the ch- uh, the uh, garlic palm uh, wings with loaded tots. I'd say their wings are the best. Oh, they, they are, are the very best. Good. And I've been waiting to see what Jimmy is going to order tomorrow yeah, so I can follow right. his lead. Yeah, I had the shrimp tacos, and that's uh, fitting because tomorrow is $3 craft tacos at Elixir, $3 Corona, $3 tequila shots. They do that every Tuesday. Yum. But this Saturday, it's an MMA fight, Perea versus Yay. Hill. That's happening at night. Both Angel and uh, from the Monsters and I will be there from 9 uh, p.m. And that fight starts at 10. We're doing the Monster Brew Bus in the day. We're at Elixir at night oh. for the <laughs> <laughs> MMA fight. It's going to be epic. It, this Saturday, look out. Here we come. Oh, oh. Jack and Pedialyte? Angel at Elixir, join us. <laughs> do you need some Pedialyte yeah, now? Yeah, 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 no yeah. doubt. Yeah. Do we have a question of the day? Yes, question of the day. Did uh, What did you do for today's eclipse? Either watch outside, watch on TV or internet, or paid no attention. 47% said they watched it outside. 31% paid no attention, with t- just 22% saying it was on television or internet. Yeah. I made everybody go outside and get their eyes blown up. <laughs> <laughs> Good it's, it's boss. A, yeah, here comes boss. another class action. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Use that on appeal. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Tomorrow we have, let's see, we have What'd You Do That's New. We'll be going over the remainder of four things. Yeah, four things. Don't forget to watch for, it, Jack. For, for Jack. No, and then we'll find out what Sabrina has to offer as we bring back the celebrity version of What'd You Do That's New. And I think you're going to love her suggestion. We'll go back over that. And, of course, we'll also have It's Only Money with our friend Scott Brown from Edgewater Family Wealth. On behalf of Deb Jack and our buddy Ray, I am Jim. We follow the new Chunky. They follow the monsters in the morning. After us, it's Tom and Dan with the Corporate Time and our friends from Real Laughs. We'll see you tomorrow at 3 for more of the Jim Corbett Show. Until then, have yourself a fantastic